Live day trading penny stocks, day trading live on small accounts, small amounts, day trading live stream every single day from 8.30 till 11.30. Day trading low flow small cap stocks straight from the watch list, the hot stocks of the day. Live day trading for beginners, day trading live on a small account, small amounts. You guys know, learning the stock market basics every single day. Today, I'm going to try to be a little bit more calmer, a little bit more relaxed, but right now, the stocks I'm looking at, just like you guys are probably, are, uh, why is that one way over there? Anyways, let me get these mixed up a little bit. CLSSD, we're looking at a couple good stocks out here. Uh, MTP is a good one. PHAS, CLSD, CLSD is another one. Oh man, CLSD. And what else is out there? NNOX also, NNOX. So let me write these down really quickly so we can get this show on the road and see what's happening out here. The first things first is, hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to be cool, calm, and collected. CLSD is moving up, up, and up. CLSD, this one's looking like a good one. CLSD all the way up. This is actually an okay entry. I did trade this today already. I traded a few different stocks this morning. I'm green in the pre-market, just so you guys know. Look at the CLSD going up, up and up, man. Tammy Sanders, great call, man. Great, great call on that, Tammy Sanders. Great, great call. The AM trader, great call on those things you're calling. Good job, guys, calling these trades out. Where would I get in on CLSD right here? Let's be cool. Let's be calm. Let's be collected. The old pre-market high is 540 right here. CLSD has room. It can move. It's going. It's going. It's going. Where am I going to get in? I kind of missed the good entry already, but we'll look for the next entry out here and we'll get a hold of it. I'm just not sure where as of yet. I'm seeing it's struggling a little bit. It looks like it's struggling, but it's right at the high of day. 540, I have resistance up at the 550s up there. That's how high I thought this could go today was the 550s. I didn't think it would get over the 550s today. So if it happens to get over the 550s, maybe I'm wrong about this and it is going to go up a little bit higher. But 550s was about the top I had for this thing. MTP, CLSD, Davey 411, great call right there. Let me put these out there real quickly. So CLSD, uh, APOP, PHAS, NNOX, uh, what else is out there? KU, uh, KULR, I really don't like that one, but if you guys want to put that one up there also, KULR is another one that's moving around a little bit. KULR, I'm just not real sure about that one, but we'll find out what's going to happen. KULR, let me put that up on my watch list so I can see what's actually happening. That one is coming down quite a ways, K-U-L-R is. But these are the top stocks I basically have up there for today. There's also N-T-E-C. This is another one, N-T-E-C. Here we go, N-T-E-C also, N-T-E-C. There's a lot of good stocks moving up this morning, and there looks like plenty of action today. So that's what we're going to do. But anyways, let me clear my screen, get this up here. If this gets over the 464s, then we're going to find out how high this can go. And I'm going to probably take a trade on this. Take a trade on this one. Here we go. Can it get over the 464s? If it gets over the 464s, I'm going to look for a little pullback into the 455s. Always remember to trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Not all these trades work out, man. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to take a couple shares just to show you guys. It did get up to 465. I'm going to look for a little pullback right here into the 450s. The volume's kind of light, but I like how this one's moving. So I'm trying to get in here on a little pullback. Here we go. It had a little rip neck up there. There we go. 457. 456, come on, 457, 458, 460, 
there we go i got in at 458 right here i'm looking for this to go up to the 480s up there my first profit target as always is going to be around 475 or 468 actually 468 would be my first profit target up there and that's what i'm looking for this one has low volume so it's very sketchy as robert lamb would say no volume no trade so if this happens to not work out that's what's kind of what's going to happen i bought and sold mtc and made lunch my uh mtc had room all the way up to the 340s it was perfect 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 no volume no trade that's why you don't trade these but i'm gonna add down into the 430s down here just so you guys know ahead of time i'm adding down into 430s and that's what i'm gonna look for that's how i'm gonna get this this is how i will do it here we go let's see what happens here and nox is moving up i need to keep an nox that's up there okay that's looking good everything's looking nice Let's get through the stuff I get through. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to be calm. I'm going to be collected. And today is 367 of the Monkey Army March all the way to $1 million. Started this account with $440 in it 367 days ago. It now sits at over $10,457. And we're going all the way to the top all the way to one million dollars we're not gonna stop until we get there all the way up a slow and steady man slow and steady the next thing i need to get through is the monkey army who's in the monkey army the big macs the keychain holders the donates the subscribers adding money i save five dollars each and every day saving five dollars each and every day so far, I have $20. Right below that is donate. Some of you guys have been kind enough to donate. And you guys know when I get up to $100, I add it into my Thinkorswim account. We're going to do that all the way up to $25,000. Anyways, there we go. Here we go. The next thing I'm going to do is a new word. I try to learn a new word each and every week. And this week's word is umbrage offense or annoyance offense and yesterday just talking so much and doing all this other crazy stuff offense or annoyance umbrage um umbrage or whatever man i need to calm down i need to relax i need to get through here clsd is moving up this has volume 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 this is where you get your money man volume no volume no trade what the heck am i doing on ntec no volume no trade that's what i need to learn out there no volume no trade clsd coming up if it gets over this 550 i'll look for a trade like i said and the next thing i need to get through is the donates you guys know this is everybody who's donated to the channel uh everybody who's donated to the channel you guys know i shout you from the rooftops i shout you out loud i shout you wherever i go thank you guys thank you thank you and thank you ntec i'm looking for this one to go but is it going to make it or is it not all right and another thing is the discord you guys know i'm going to be starting a discord on monday mondays there's going to be a discord it's going to have the same old moderators for now but i think i'm going to have more moderators all the macs you're going to be right in there everybody else you guys can join the discord you just gotta i'm gonna figure it out you're just gonna have to send me an email or an invite or something i you're gonna have to i i want to keep it tight i want to keep it classy i want it to be we're gonna keep a watch list in there where i'm gonna be trading in the mornings in there before the live stream and we're going to be talking other people will be talking if they want to and we're going to grow up from the ground up i i know all the mistakes i did from last time i am not going to make this time we did have a good group of people in there last time that's fine we're still going all the way up to one million dollars nothing's going to hold us back nothing's going to stop us we're going to get in there we're going to get the job done man ntec what a dog man yeah this is a dog 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 look at that's why you don't trade low volume no trade man low volume no trade 
There's MTP popping back up here too. MTP, look at this, right off the VWAP right here, all the way up. I think this could go even higher. MTP, I think, could get up to the 450s today, maybe even over that today. MTP is my top, top stock on watch. Here we go. Love the channel, learning so much. I have four Discord channels. If you need help, I can help. Doran, that's what it's gonna be about this time. This Discord, I was trying to keep the last Discord so tight. We had a thousand people in the Discord. I shut it down because I didn't like the effects it was having. So I'm gonna start a brand new one. The same people, Anthony and Ayub are always gonna be there because I they were in the last Discord. I can't just go, okay, you got you know what I I mean it's going to be the same old song and dance where i i the way i do anything is the way i want to do everything i want to do everything right i don't do everything right i make mistakes and i feel like i made a big mistake in the last discord but that's okay so we're going to start fresh we're going to start new it's going to be clean it's going to be classy a daily watch list the whole situation we got it. I, I still got it, man. I saw this Discord was down. Yeah, day before 1-1, one, one, I deleted the Discord. The Discord is gone. But there will be a Discord on Monday, Monday, Monday morning. It's better with a team. Exactly, Doran. It's better with a team. And I was trying to keep it too tight. We should have had a lot more moderators out there, a lot more uh, a situation out there. But I didn't. I kind of messed that up. That was my own fault. Here we go. Oh, man, I should have added down there 440. I'm looking to get out for break even down here for 48, 38, 38. I'm going to get in at 438. I'm just looking for a break even trade on this stock right now. That's why I'm still getting in 85% of the time. I'll get out for break even and that's what I'm doing. I shouldn't probably do it. I should just stop out. Actually, I'll let it do what it's going to do. I'm not going to add no more into that. I was going to add all the way back into 425, and then my average would get down into the 435 uh, level, and then I would uh, look to get out for break even, but it's okay. If it's a loser, it's a loser. I already made my money this morning, some money anyway. It's, I'm not familiar with Discord. How does it work? I'm going to get it. I, I have a lot of studying to do to get it right. They have a whole bunch of good stuff in there. It's going to be great. Let's go, man. Good morning, all MTP top watch stats. Show it closes 75% of the time on gap ups below the open. One thing that's going to be probably different about this Discord is this Discord, the voice channel is going to run through the live stream. If, if We're going to see how everything works out and stuff like that. MTP, I, I like that. I like, uh, I like building a good team. I'm trying to keep it as tight as I can because the ghost town, how many people are going to fit in the ghost town? A whole, whole bunch, man. <laughs> a whole, whole bunch. I always love your stats. Thank you, John Wick. Uh, that, that's just, uh, it's true. That's what I do every single time. Uh, that's exactly what I would do right there. That's how I trade. Sometimes when you see me adding into trades, Sometimes I'm just adding into a loser, looking to get out for break even. Other times I know ahead of time I'm going to be adding in down there, and I consider that adding into a winner. It just depends on the situation. Like on a lot of my buy the dip, sell the rip strategies, adding in, I already know I'm going to do that ahead of time. But uh, And then on the support resistance, sometimes I'll add into that too. You can stream and talk. It lets you have it all like TeamSpeak. Yes, TeamSpeak, Dorian. It's going to be great. It's going to be nice. It's going to be classy. The only way into the Discord is going to be with an invite, though. But uh, it's uh, all the Macs are already in there. And uh, whoever else wants to be in there is going to be able to be in there. But I'm going to make a set of rules. We're going to have a, all the good stuff in there, man. Or FaceTime, kind of, but with restrictions. Yes, 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 and yes. So anyways, let me get through the rest of the stuff I'm going to get through. I am a profitable trader. I'm going to get through. On January 1st, 2021, my starting balance was $7,426. Since then, I've added... I've added three thousand. I've added three thousand dollars to make the starting balance ten thousand four hundred twenty-six dollars. 
my current account balance over my short account and my long account is $10,457. So I'm green on the year, $31, man. And my trades for yesterday, I made 30 bucks yesterday. And the next thing I need to get through, let me be cool, let me be calm, let me be collected. I am getting out of control again. Let's see what happens to NTEC. I'm being cool, calm, and collected here. Done with. Thanks, bro. Always trade with some edge. That's what makes us the 10% that profit. Yes. I've been green so many days in a row. I don't even know when I had a red day last. I don't even know when I had a red day. I, it's been so many green days. So, and what stocks are we going to look at to short sell? Well, I'm going to write those down right now, just so you guys know. Uh, here we go. These are the top stocks I would look for a short sell today. Uh, here we go. On short watch is VKTX. VKTX, AGEN, and uh, TWO. TWO and AMRX, AMRX also. These are on short watch, short watch on thinkorswim. These are easy to borrow, easy to borrow on TOS. So easy to borrow on TOS, VKTX, AGEN. If I, if I had any day trades left in my short account, I would be looking for a short sell mostly on VKTX. I was going to short sell TWO if it gets up to 8 to $10, but it's not. AMRX, these are all on short watch right there. We're also going to be doing that. APOP is popping up a little bit. APOP, let's see, NTEK. Let's go, let's get this. Come on, you can make it, man. NTEK. NTEC or FaceTime. Yeah, you can stream and talk. It lets you have it all like team speak. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be a team. I, I'm building a good team. I just want to make sure that whatever I'm saying, I'm following through with. You know what I mean? I don't want to promise. I, I'm not going to make no promises. I just know what I have. I know the lists I have. I know how I keep track. And I just want you guys to know I'm doing the best I can each and every day to get us where we need to be. It takes a great team. We're going to be the wolves of Wall Street, man. The wolves, wolves of Wall Street. So here we go. Man, I wish I would have added right there at 438. And then I could have got, I would have had a 448 average. And then I would get out most of my shares for break even. And then I would uh, put my stop at break even too. Man, that would be perfect. I have to get out one of my shares right here, actually. Bum, bum, bum. 453, 452. Here we go. Let's go, ma'am. Good morning, everybody. It's great to be here. MTP is the top, top, one of the top stocks out here today. So just so you know, MTP. MTP, man, this is my top, top stock on watch today. I think it's going to be good. I'm also going to put APOP up here. Up there also. Okay, these are the top stocks I'm looking if I'm in Discord, I can I can post stats in form of pictures, give a percent win and filings on warrants and offerings. Yes, Shane SP. <clears throat> There's going to be some great, great stuff in there. We're going to do it all where it's going to be a learning center. We're going to learn in there. We're going to learn charts. We're going to learn pictures. We're going to learn the whole situation. That's what I'm going to do. That's exactly what's going to happen out there. MTP is going up, up, and up there. So let's see what happens with this one. MTP, man, is going up. I'm going to put this on here. Let's talk about MTP since I think it's the top stock today. Let's blow this chart up. There's actually a trade happening on MTP right now. <clears throat> if I was going to get in, I would get. I would let it get up over this 350 up there. And then I would let 350 be the support 
340 to 350 be the support. I would want to get in anywhere between 340 and 360. That's after it goes up into the 360 though. It's going to have to get up into the 357 to 360 and then do a little pullback right there. And that would be my entry. So let's put the pre-market high is at $3.90. I always put that in an orange dotted line. I'm going to put it right here. Oh. I'm going to put it, uh, man, it's hard to put this in here right here, but here we go. Boom. Edit properties. Uh, orange. I always put this in an orange dotted line, but the problem is it's right up. It's right at my daily support resistance line. So I'm going to put it up a couple more cents. I'm okay with that. I use areas in my trading. Look, you got this Wolf of Wall Street. We're going to have a party every single day. We're going to have a parade down Main Street, man. We got this all the way up. Nothing can stop us. All the way up. Nothing can stop us. But Okay, so MTP 390. Let's go to the daily chart. Let's see where this stock is right now. So $3.90 is right here at the resistance. What do we see off the daily chart? This can run. It's ran up there. It's ran, ran, ran. Every time this runs up, it looks like it pulls back in, except for right here. On this day, it kind of went straight up and stayed up there. But on most days, let's look at some of these days. Look at it right there, all the way up, all the way back down. Look at that. Look at this, every single day, all the way up, all the way back down, any breakout, this is a daily chart. Every single one of these candles is one day of time. Look back here, all the way up, all the way up, all the way back down, all the way up, every single day it's ran, it's at least gave back half of its gains. So that's one little piece of the puzzle we're going to put in there. Now let's go to the weekly chart. I like to look at the weekly chart just to see what's happening. The weekly chart, what do we notice? I don't really see nothing. I do see back here where it's ran basically from $6 all the way up to $54 in one week of time. But that doesn't mean nothing. Let's go to the hourly chart, see what we notice. The hourly chart. So if you were going to look for a trade on MTP, what would be a safe trade? A safe trade would be a, a short sell. You would find shares to borrow. I need to get over to APLP high alert. Uh, I can't I can't be talking about these stocks. Here we go. Boom. Uh, join the bid. Um, I'm getting in right here. I'm getting in at 514. 514. I'm going to add down in there. Let's go. 514. Come on. Keep on going. 514. APOP. Here we go. 514. Get up there a little bit more. Uh, APOP is popping right on up here. I'm going to add down into $5 right here if I have to. I'm, I'm trying to get in this 514. My first profit target is 524 if it comes up to 524. Here we go, man. APOP. So one thing we know about one thing we know about MTP is that anytime it goes up, it comes back down. It may already even be at the top for the day, but we're gonna try to take advantage of the momentum there. There we go. Boom. All the way up, all the way up, man, Four, 523. I'm looking for 514 here. I'm gonna actually let it, or 524. I'm gonna let it go a little bit higher than this. I think it goes up into the $6 possibly. But anyways, let's see what happens right here. Here we go. I'm gonna add to my position on this stock. APOP, sorry, man, this thing. NTEC, APLP, here we go. How did your short work out for you, Monk? Uh, my short, I I'm still in that SPI trade. I'm not going to close it till later. Here's the 523s. Let's go 527. Boom. There we go. Just a beautiful little scalp trade right there. A beautiful little scalp trade. I wish I could have got in down here a little bit lower, but that was a good, good trade right there. 
ntec here we go let's get this show on the road man and are you talking about two two short or what did i talk about that already two or what i don't know i i didn't i i i have zero day trades left to short sell with that's what i know but look at this going all the way up parabolic all the way to the moon all the way up man oh yesterday i yesterday i i had covered my shares already on spi it was a long trade i had took a long trade at 868 that short trade had already played out right there sorry for uh sorry for yelling again out here i'm getting very excited apop boom i'm getting back in at 522 just looking for 532 it's my first profit target right here 522 if it comes down i'm gonna add down into five dollars down here if it happens to go down there there we go just another little scalp trade right there nothing fancy just a little little scalp trade right there uh, if i had more shares i would just take half of my shares at 532 and then i would put my stop at break even which is 522 and i'd look for this to go over the 550s Dunwick still holding ORPH, ORPH. Hopefully that one goes up today. It definitely could. Look at this, man. Uh, APOP, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful money on this. Beautiful money. If it comes down to the 508s, I'm going to get back in this. If it gets over this 540 up here, I'll probably get in again up over that. APO uh, uh, forming a pattern. Yep, here we go. What is going to happen? Let's get this money. Here you go. All the way up. Nothing can stop it. With a margin account, you keep trading this over and over. And you build up about 50 cents on this stock right here. Here we go. Look at it go, man. All the way up. Nothing can happen to it. John Wick, still full hold. Probably should have dropped half. 22 yeah man uh ap uh orph up to 25 dollars that was the shot right there that's where i thought it was going but i thought it had a lot of resistance at 15 dollars there but looks like some people got back in look at this all the way up nothing can stop it all the way up nothing can stop it man here we go this is a sketchy trade right here i'm not gonna take this trade uh actually i might 37 i'm keeping a tight stop on this 537 527 i'm gonna add to this 527 i'm looking for this to go over the 550s up here just kind of adding down into this this is very sketchy this trade i i wouldn't take this one in real unless i had a margin account i would take this trade i probably should have waited mtp is popping up mtp is going up up and up also so let's just be patient let's get out there here we go mtp there we go with mtp you guys know if you could find shares to short on there looking for this to go right up over the 550s up here that's kind of what i'm looking for 527 is my next add into this thing we'll see great call monk apo of 534 out 540 there you go brian k nothing wrong with that look at mtp is popping up right now mtp that's exactly what i was looking for it's this right here 357 a little pullback right here and get in right here but anyways i'm gonna stay with apop but mtp this is the trade i was looking for right here but oh well that's okay that's fine here we go 532 532 good morning monk orp yep orph is at 1450s right now looking like it wants to move orph the 1450 getting up there over look at this little dip trade right here i don't like the volume i'm gonna it does have good volume today already actually but i'm gonna let it get up a little bit higher before i trade this but this could be a monster today for sure for for sure and mtp is sitting there you could take that little dip trade on a orph kind of a lottery ticket trade here we go 
537 get up there 527 I missed my ad right there I was supposed to add right there it would have gave me a 532 average I would have got out some of my shares for plus one cent and I would still be in this thing with a stop right there but I, I moved out of here and got out of here MTB could be a milli maker. Yep. ORPH could be a millionaire maker for sure. Everybody's looking for the next one. And ORPH definitely could be it. Here we go. 347. Get up there. It needs to bust over the 350s on this push. Come on. Nope. I'm getting out right there for break even. I wanted it to go right up over the uh, 550s right there. It did not make it, so I let it go do its thing right there. CLSD is popping up. I'm going to go look at NTEC. This thing, or uh, that's not it. NTEC. I'm getting out of this. I was supposed to get out of this a long time ago. MTP is going up, up, and up right there. 437 no volume no trade that's what i need to learn so mtp i hope you guys took this for a trade this was a class a setup right there beautiful beautiful setup from the uh, 350s all the way up take a little bit of your profit right there perfect nice and beautiful perfect nice and beautiful taking a little profit does have room may go over the 390s right there man here we go man let's get this let's do this man let's get this money let's get this money orph is going up a little bit i i don't like it i don't know what's gonna happen uh but it looks like it is building support you could keep a tight stop on this a uh, 449 if you have a, a margin account if you're around the pdt rule you could take this trade right here MTP, look at this. MTP, I think $4. Easily $4, maybe even higher. You guys know. I think $4.55, maybe even a little bit higher than that. Here we go. Good morning. Some good, good trades out there. I'm not wasting no more of my buying power. The rest of my trades, I try not to waste over $100 buying power in the pre-market. But I like to check mark some of my trades out here. Here we go. What is going? So you see how APOP didn't bust over that 545 right there? I should have taken a little bit of profit right there, but I didn't get my ad. I was supposed to add at 527, giving me an average of 532, and then I would have took profit right there, and then my stop would have been break even. But no, it's fine. Whatever happens. Dunwick, how long you been trading, bro? You seem to know what you're talking about. Everybody knows the same stuff. You're going to learn each and every day, man. Each and every day through the stock market. If you're a profitable trader, you're a profitable trader. I'm a profitable trader now. <laughs> John Wick has some great entries, too. There's a lot of great people out here. Short it, so it moonshot. L look at this. Let's see what's going on with... Uh, uh, our shorts out here alt look at this 1940 remember i short sold this one way down here at the 15 and then i tried again up here look at this look at that short man from the 19 remember i started at 19 dollars it came all the way back down to 16 dollars could have got every penny back out of that thing man how beautiful was that alt is on one of my short sell watches for today also alt mtp i think is going up bktx coming down i really would have liked to see that one go up a little bit more here we go boom so here we go mtp is the top top stock out here look at this man love your energy why trading good vibes yes i try to do what i want yeah mtp hopefully you guys took it at the 350s right here and that was the entry you took half of your profit up towards the 363s 364s right there about 15 cents a profit and now you're holding and you're looking for this to go over four dollars maybe even as high as 455 five dollars up there there's also CLSD. I'm going to put this one up on watch also. CLSD here. CLSD. 
Boom, boom, boom. Monk, you're a Cossack. Thank you, guys. I really respect everybody being here every single day. I really enjoy your guys' company. I can't wait to talk to you guys. Man, my hair. I'm a profitable trader again. I'm getting ready. I'm going to cut my hair soon, man. I'm cutting it all off. I'm going to do it live on stream. I'm getting ready. I'm doing it. MTP coming back down would have stopped me out right there, but it could still go higher. RSLS, look at this one. RSLS is going up. I don't know what's going on with this one. RSLS. RSLS. What do we notice on RSLS? Very weird and very choppy, man. This would be a short sell. If you could short sell something, this would be an A plus setup short sell. If it could go up a little bit higher into this 970s up there. I think I need to move that line. Actually, edit properties. Um around there, 978. This would be an A plus setup short trade. This would be the one I would want to find shorts on. In the pre-market, I would try to look right now. Let's see what's going to happen with that. CLSD coming up. APOP. APOP coming back up. Here we go. Look at this. Um, oh, I forgot. I'm not wasting no more buying power. 527, 52030 right here. Adding as it goes up over the 550s up there. This is a good trade right here. Good, good trade right there. To me, it is. As I'm talking, I'm talking about myself. I'm not wasting no more buying power, but that's a good little trade. Hopefully, it can bust over this 545 and go up into the 550s. You want to take a little bit of your profit up there, of course, as it goes up. Man, when you're going to enter, that would be my exit. Yeah, the enter is the exit, man. Sometimes I, a lot of my day trades are the same spot I would short sell at, believe it or not. The same, same spots. It would be my starter short. Cutting your hair, I thought that was a hat. Yes, I have a hat on, but my hair... My hair is so freaking long, man. I'm going to I'm going to tie it in a ponytail almost and I'm going to wrap it up or braid it. I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to hang it. I'm going to hang it from my screen up here. And that means I'm a profitable trader, man. Hustlers don't sleep, they nap. Keep your eyes on the moon and your feet on the ground. That's what I try to tell myself. Keep your eyes on the moon and your feet on the ground. Don't get the FOMO. Don't get the FOMO. Let's see if this goes over the 545s. I would still be holding this, believe it or not. Looking for this to go right up over that. Here we go. Here we go. Is it going to make it? Cut your hair today, man. Yeah. Reshape Life Sciences closes first day of trading on the NASDAQ capital market shares of Reshape Life Science. Commence trading on the NASDAQ capital market at market open on June 16th, 2021, Jane SP says. Uh, RSLS, RSLS, right here, reshape life sciences. This would be an A plus setup short sell. A, A, A plus setup, man. A, 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 A plus setup. I would short sell every single pop. I would be short selling and covering my position on the way back down every time. C, L, S, D, but it has low volume. So I would start with very small share size just so I can get in and out. There goes O, R, P, H. O, R, P, H, man. Don't forget about this one. Is today going to be the day for O, R, P, H? I'm putting this one up on watch. Here we go. ORPH is going to be the one. OR, ORPH. Oh, ORPH right here. Here we go. It's looking better now. See that 1450 right there? Look at that. That could have stopped you out right there because it scared you out of it. Look at this trade right there, the 1457s. Look at this. Should I get in this thing and look for the best? I'm thinking about getting in this, maybe. I, I'm going to have to take a lottery ticket on this, man. 
1447 is it gonna make it i just don't know with the volume i just don't know man and uh so i'm gonna wait a little bit on this but yeah i'm gonna wait let's get this money what else do we need to talk about what else are we gonna do you guys know I feed my dreams and starve my doubts. I feed my dreams and I starve my doubts. I feed my dreams and I starve my doubts. I feed my dreams and I starve my doubts. I feed my dreams and I starve my doubts. I hope you guys said that. Yo, volume. Talk about the Fed. Uh, talk about the Feds. Yeah, I could do that. Oh, maybe we should do that. I could talk about some regular new stuff. I guess that's true. I could talk about that kind of stuff. Maybe we'll do that. I, I'm trying to think. If anybody has ideas around the Discord, please let me know. I know we're going to have a daily watch list. I know some certain rules we're going to have and stuff like that. I know some situations. But if anybody has any good ideas about the Discord, like a channel names, uh, uh, even names for the channel, things like that, Whatever the case may be, maybe uh, we will, uh, we, uh, please send me an email and then when the Discord gets going, we'll see how it goes. Oh, 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 I feed my dreams and I starve my doubts. I feed my dreams and I starve my doubts. Yeah, made big uh, money on 77 day, but if this approval comes through, going to pass AMC or PH, I like it right here, believe it or not. I like it right at 1470s right here for the push into 1570s. I would just scalp it kind of, but I would be looking for this to possibly head back up. Is this going to make a run for yesterday's high? Yesterday's high was 23, 2390, I think. Yeah, 2390. 2390 let's put that line in there if you see a green dotted line on my chart that means it's the previous day's high there we go 2390 all the way up that would be classic cut your hair and let's trade is there anything else we're looking at we see mtp we see apop we see clsd rsls look at this another 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 is it going to keep going up 1090s the previous day's high was nine dollars i would really love to see this push into the 950 to ten dollars that would be the a plus setup if it could do that within about a five minute period once it gets over this 850 that would be a beautiful short sell up there beautiful beautiful short sell so ORPH, what's happening with this one? APOP, look at that. It got stuck again. Third time. It looked like somebody started a position right here at the 525s and was starting to add, add, add as it went up. But then it just came right on down. Let's see what happens right here. If this gets over this 537 up there, Look at the first five minute candle to make a new high is up over 545. The first five minute candle to make a new high is up over 545. Is it going to do it? Is that a trade? Yes, that is a trade. 15 break would say a lot. Monk got the mole underneath it. Yes, I got a mole. I think I'm going to cut my hair like a mullet. That would be cool for a while. Go back to the old, old, old days. <laughs> go back to the old days clsd vwap bounce vwap bounce vwap bounce is it going to get up over this level the fourth 536 you could get in right here at the 524s and just use this as your wrist down there the 512s down here this this is an okay trade with, with a pdt margin account i get in here it's a good risk management trade that's another one right there another 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 one but i'm looking for the good good setups right here is this going to keep going up or 70 you guys know i always take profit quick what is going to happen on orph orph today good morning guys i'm keeping close watching orph for the moonshot so am i but who knows what's going to happen this one could fade and just end up being garbage but who knows 
We'll find out. Oh my gosh, my freaking hair, man, is killing me. My hair, ah, oh, monkey business, no monkey business today. My first three trades out of the stock market, I'm spending $1,200 into each trade, no doubt about it. I'm a profitable trader, just so you guys know. Here we go, what is gonna happen? K-U-L-R, I'm not really seeing nothing today trade right now. I-S-U-N, look at this one. I-S-U-N, this has a little bit of possibilities too. Let me look at this one real quick. I-S-U-N. I-S-U-N, I sun. Six million has a float. I-S-U-N has a float of six million. I S U N. I S U N has a float of six million. I'm going to put that down here real quick so you guys can know this one. I S U N six mil float through float checker. It's around six million. It could be a little bit less, it could be a little bit more too. Here we go, man. ORPH, that 1470 right there. Is that a good entry? I kind of think so. Let's get that. Boom. John Wick, what's your average? Should take all 3600. Grab ORPH now and just take $1. I should take ORPH right now and just take $1. Should I do it? Should, should I do it? I I just can't do it right here. The volume's not telling me that. John Wick, you know I respect your entries. You know I do. It's just I can't. I, I can't really do it. Look at all these long wicks up here. Until it gets over this $14.94. $15 is the resistance to me. I think a lot of bag holders are around $15 still. And trying to get out. I think there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of volume right around that area maybe it's a uh, $15 is like a line to me if it if it gets over this $15 though I'm gonna look I definitely will look and see 1568 right there $15 but you're right what if I got in right here at 1460 and took my profit up into the $15 that would be good. That's not a bad trade right there. I just cannot put all my eggs in one basket. How many? I could buy 50 shares. Always remember, water is wet. Always remember, water is wet, man. Yes. C-L-O-V. This is another one popping up here. C-L-O-V. I think today could be the day. If it does get over that level right there, you see this. Uh, if it gets over this thirteen fifty, actually thirteen dollars right there, thirteen nineteen right there, thirteen nineteen up into the thirteen fifties, twelve eighty five. Okay, let's go. C L S D M T P popping back up here. You guys know what's gonna happen with this one. O R P H. Water cannot be wet. Yes, water is wet, man. Remember to always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Here goes CLVS. CLVS could be a good one today, too. So AMC, yeah, AMC up there. Sorry if my keyboard's so loud. CLVS, CLVS, boom. Here we go, man. Looks wet to me. What do you think of MTP? MTP is an A plus setup short sell at some point today, but I'm just saying I'm going to take it on the long side. I think it can get up to the 450, uh, 450 to $6. I think MTP can get up to. I don't know if it's going to get higher than that or what, but uh, I think it can up, up towards the 450 to six. I would start looking for a short trade. That's what I would do on MTP, but that's just it. Uh, the, the good money is on the short side, but there's hopefully there's going to be some long money here too.
Here we go. O R P H. I, I was in O R P H at 309. I was supposed to add into the 274s, but I already made my money in the pre market. So I end in this small account. I just said, forget it. I'm getting out. If it breaks below $3, look at that. I sold that on the lowest candle right there. It never got below that again and went all the way up. Man, I was supposed to take profit at the 340s up there. But here we go. We'll see what happens. CLSD, you guys know what we were looking for. If that one could get up a little bit higher. APOP, here we go. This is it again. Here we go, APOP is looking like the pop at the market open. Starter position, add, 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 all the way up into uh, APOP, up into $5, $6, maybe even $6.85. This is it right here. But let me, oh man, I'm not going to waste my buying power, but this is looking good. ORPH is popping up there too. Look at this one. 1450 here we go orph is looking like a gap and go setup so there's two top stocks to be watching at the market open apop orph orph too where did my uh oh clvs is right there okay boom 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 John Wick, nowhere near a snowflake. I am 85 years old, man. 85 years old. But you can be a snowflake in the stock market. There goes APOP. There you go right there. There it is. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was the entry right there. I hope you guys grabbed that. I hope you guys got it. I hope you got it, man. Look at that. All the way up. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. They're going to run this one before the market open. And then ORPH, because they don't want to miss out on ORPH above the $15 there. So this one's probably going to go for a little bit here. Here we go. ORPH, APOP, all the way up. I hope you, I hope you got it, man. I son, I son is ripping. What? I need to put that one up on a chart. I S U N. I forgot to. I S U N. Where is that one? I S U N. Yeah, I S U N is ripping also. So that's a good one. I forgot about that one. I meant to put that one up there. I S U N is another good one. But look at A P O P here. Look at this, all the way up into 680s up there. Aliens, uh, look at that. That was beautiful. ORPH is getting ready to bust over also. Look at these stocks. Look at that trade right there. The 520, add, 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 all the way up into that. That is a clean trade right there. And now you could buy the dip and sell the rip right here. Clean, nice, and beautiful. Clean, nice, and beautiful. Good job, man good good job on this one all the way up it still has room all the way up into the 670s up there oh hugh w thank you for donating to the channel it really does mean a lot nnox is curling around also i'm gonna take some of these stocks out of here because i i'm starting to get too many and i don't want us to miss out on some of these stocks by reading this up here isun is going up apop is going up let me try to put these up here Look at this. Where is the next entry on uh, this one? Thank you, man. That means a lot. I S U N. Boom. Beautiful, nice, and perfect. Beautiful, nice, and perfect, man. Look at this. Look at that. Clean, clean, clean. Five dollars to five nineties. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. I called it. I said it. I did it. O R P H. The fourteen seventies. Now it's up to fourteen eighty again going isun is going to the moon parabolic this one has a low float also apop though look at this little pullback right here i'm not going to take no more trades in the pre-market but this is a good pullback right here i'm going to enter at 580 581 582 we'll say 582 right there 582 Boom. I'm looking for the push over six dollars right here. 582 up over six. 582. Let's see if it can go. I may add down into the 545s. 
582 uh, my next ad is going to be 562 562 here we go look at orph all the way up to 15 dollars there's some good stocks moving right now you guys know i don't trade the first three minutes amc off that 50 dollars is not a bad look i think uh somebody was talking about that amc telling me about that well, who was that O-R-P-H all the way up. Look at this. John Wick called it, said get in right now for a whole dollar. $14.50 to $15.50. Here you oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. I'm still taking APOP all the way up. Looks like they moved on to O-R-P-H. So be careful on APOP. O-R-P-H is the one. O-R-P-H right there. Yep, look at that good good call right there great great call man orph right up into the 15 dollars i'm still in apop looking for this to go up a little bit higher uh, apop i'm in at 580 looking for the push over six dollars i thought this channel was about stocks how to make money in stocks not what other people look like and think yes man who cares what people look like and think apop all the way up orph beautiful trade the 580s i'm in i'm looking for this to go right up over six dollars up here here we go 590 first profit target 590 590 come on a little bit more 580s 590s right here ORPH going all the way up. We're going to have to watch that one. Come on. I'm looking for APOP to get over $6. Get over 6 And look at ORPH, man. That is a nice one. I, oh, my gosh. Fake out. Got me. I'm still in this thing. I didn't take that. Oh, my gosh. 562 is my next ad here. Five dollars and sixty-two cents. I think I'm gonna stay with APOP at the market open, or maybe ORPH. John Wick, great call. Look at that, all the way up to five sixty. There was my profit target right there, right, right there, man. <laughs> Look at that. I usually don't do this by blind. I bought seventy-five shares of ORPH at fourteen sixty-three. Yeah, I thought there was a good entry right here at fourteen seven, fourteen sixty, right here. That was a good entry to me, but I didn't really like it. The volume just wasn't there. I needed it over $15. See that little pullback right there? That was a good trade too. I'm still in APOP looking for that to come up, but look at that volume. That was it. They're going to slowly try to get out of their shares on APOP. It may give us one little more pop right there. Here we go. Let's see what's happening. Man, good, good money right there. 1460, 1470 area was a good entry and beautiful, beautiful, nice. And why didn't I take that? I should have jumped in there also. Have 247 shares. Good job, guys. That was a beautiful trade right there. I'm very proud of everybody that got this. APOP, I'm looking for this one to go at the market open. There's a couple stocks out there. I'm still in here. I added at a 562. Nope. Never even got my ad. I'm still in at 580. I get out before the market opens. So I'm going to reduce my risk at 581 right here. I'm going to have to because this one may come straight down. Man, ORPH, nobody wants to miss out of this thing. Look at this. Look at ORPH, oh, 14.55. That was the trade right there. That was the trade of the day right there. That was it. I thought 14.70 was a good entry, but I uh, that was I should have put my money where my mouth was right there. Man, oh man, oh man. Good, good call, guys. You guys killed it. Why didn't I do that? I, I'm still in APOP. I, I'm getting out right here on APOP. Or basically break even just because I don't hold through the market open. Here we go, APOP. Here we go, man. So the first three minutes have been really good in the stock market recently. So if you're looking for a trade at the market open, uh, the first three minutes have been really good. I mean, in the first couple three minutes. 
we'll see rsls let's see what's happening with this one rsls boom 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 okay here we go ding 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 the market is open orph is going what is orph ap apop look at this apop up to 599 orph is still going up right here let's see let's get it locked up locked up in a halt man i think it is oh no it's not it looked like it was locked up in a halt appreciate it foxtrot 1100 look at that man that was such a beautiful entry why didn't i do that today should have been the day today apop and uh, apop right there and orph the top two stocks out there mtp is popping up also mtp let's get this money the first three minutes have been money money and money mtp mtp going up up and up also looking good looking powerful clov is going up clvs is going up also mtp if you're looking for a little bit lower priced let's see what happens on this one Whoa. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> boom 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 i took it man i got it i got 15 dollars. i should have held on but i was i was freaking myself out c-o-o-v all the way up c-o-o-v all the way up i took the pull back right there i bought 50 shares right there c-o-o-v i kind of messed up on it that's okay c-o-o-v is going straight on up o-r-p-h is going up also o-r-p-h man man i i took o-r-p-h took a little scalp trade off of it right there it's going up up and up look at this this one could be a monster c-o-o-v c-o-o-v is also a monster c-o-o-v let's do it o-r-p-h also o-r-p-h look at this man going all the way up parabolic to the moon let's get this money c-o-o-v has a good support at 13 dollars the 1320s right there c-l-s-d is going up also now clsd is also another one there's a lot of stocks moving today you're gonna have to choose and pick so mtp clsd some good good stocks right there mtp uh clsd popping up up and up look at this right up over that level right there the 540s up there clsd clov going up up and up also a lot of good stocks out there ntec look at this one ntec is going up up and up too man why didn't i hold on to this one this one has low volume be careful good short sell good good short clsd clsd man clsd uh orph still going up clov still going up let's get back over there clov that was a beautiful entry at 1320s right here all the way up to 1330s right there still moving orph all the way up man let's get this money man alf what what the heck is how alf is at 650s right now trying to go up spi is trying to go up a little bit too today let's get this money out here man amc clov clvs orph clsd look at this clsd is all the way up i'm gonna look to try to grab this one it looks like clsd 550s 550 is a little bit slower on this one so i'm gonna try to wait amc is going up up and up look at this fifty dollars that fifty dollars down there all the way to the top all the way parabolic clsd going up to man good good stocks man there's the 50 cents on clsd yeah clsd right here is a good entry to me too but i'm just not taking it 552 557 there it goes a beautiful beautiful entry right there 550 all the way up to 590s maybe even six dollars up there 
So kind of looking good, looking nice. Some good stocks out there. There's STSA, SN. There's a lot of short sales out there too. SNPX, ISUN. Yep, CLSD. What is going to happen here? 545. Let's get this money. ORPH finally busting out. Or it came down a little bit, actually. ORPH, CLSD. Man, I need to get in here. Man, I don't know why I never took the 540s right there. I wanted to get in at 550s. CLSD, good entry right here, man. Good, good entry. There it goes. There it goes. Man, good entry here at 1650. Uh, John Wick says uh, maybe 1650 for ORPH. And look at COOV at 1320s, ORPH, and then ORPH at the 1650s, John Wick says. And on CLSD, this 550 right there, a beautiful entry right there. Beautiful, great, great entry on CLSD. Man, some good stock. See, I, I, I missed out on COOV. I should have took that one. I should have took CLSD also here. But that's okay. That's fine. Let's go, man. Let's get some money out there. So much money out here in the stock market. Let's see what happens with this. It does have room. CLSD. I don't think it goes much higher than this, though, is the only problem right there. So let's see. CLSD. Let's get this money. CLOV is moving up. CLVS is moving up. Look at this. Money, money, and money, man. Let's get this thing all the way up to the top. CLVS. ALF, high alert. ALF, high, high alert on this one. ALF, high, high alert. ALF. It has low volume, but moving up. ALF. ALF right here. No, really, there's too much money out there. It's all over the place, man. There is so much money all over the place. ORPH at 1650 all the way back up. Still moving up. 686. Let's get it. Yeah, all over though. CLSD, you probably want to move your stop to break even. And then see if it will. Uh, 674. Man, this is an entry for me right here, but I'm kind of waiting a little bit. There's the 660s. 660s. Is this going to go straight on down or keep going? CLSD is a good one there. CLSD, man. Look at this entry on ALF right here. This is a good entry also. So CLOV at 1320 was a good entry. CLSD at 550s was a great, great entry. And, and ORPH at 1650 was a great, great entry. NNOX is moving up too. NNOX. NNOX. Man, this one's looking a little bit rough right here. So I'm going to get back over to CLSD. I can't believe I didn't take this trade here. That was such a nice one, man. ALF, man. ALF. I like it for an entry right there, but it's just a little bit sketchy. This thing should be popping up a little bit more. Looks like I'm going to go over to ORPH. If it can get back up over the 1750s, I'll probably take a trade. But CLSD, you're still riding that one up. You're still riding CLOV up. And ALF, let me see what's happening with that one. ALF, whoa. Coming down. ALF. ALF. Oh my gosh. ALF right here, man. CLSD. Yeah, CLSD was a perfect trade off the 550s right there. There goes ORPH is coming up. I'm liking ALF right here at the 1660, or 660s right here, but it's still having a little bit of trouble right there. ORPH all the way over. ORPH. 1740s. This one kind of gets out of control a little bit. We'll see what happens. 
1740s right here on ORPH. I like this for an entry. I'm just a little bit worried. 1716. Whoa, look at that. All the way back down. $17 here. 17. Oh, look at that. 1690s. Man, this stock, man. $17 right there. Oh, I should have took that. APOP, ALF. Look at ALF. I hope you guys took this for a trade. The 660s all the way up to 670s now. This was another good one. ORPH. I wanted to take it at the 730s. Uh, I don't know if I would get stuck in that. Why play for pennies when you can grab dollars? Yeah, like on ORPH. But there's good money on ALF right there. That one could potentially go all the way back up to the $7, maybe even higher. Look at it, man. What is happening on this one? I'm going to I'm going to be scalping this one a little bit more. I'm looking for a good trade. GameStop is going straight on up, man. Monk, put your Oh, I didn't put a green check up. I forgot. I forgot to put my green check up on ORPH. I took this trade a little bit ago. ORPH, I took it at $17. It did go up to $18. There we go. What is happening? ORPH is looking a little scary. NOVN is moving up. GameStop is moving up. CLSD is moving up. Good stocks out there. JFU is now moving up. A beautiful short sell on JFU. Beautiful, beautiful short sell on that one. ASISUN all the way down. MTP. Maybe JFU goes a little higher, but that's a beautiful short sell starter position adding into the 320s up there. CLSD still going up here. Looking good. Looking powerful. CLSD, the 560s again. Man, how many times can you get 20 cents out of CLSD? Over and over and over again. Look at that. Check, check isn't showing. My green check should show up there. Yeah, it's up there. It's definitely up there. Hunk, what, how do you see v Vino? Vino, what? Your check isn't showing. Thank you for subscribing, guys. I just want to say thank everybody for being here. So what stocks are we looking at? AMC, GameStop. ORPH and CLSD. These are the stocks I'm looking at. And JFU, look at this short sell to me. If you short sold at the 275s, you're going to add into the 315s up there. Vino is halted. Oh, V I N O is halted. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it anymore. I'm going to tell you that much. <laughs> I don't see it anymore. N N O X. V-I-N-O is, is uh, gone. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. N-T-E-C. Look at this one. N-T-E-C. This 450 could be. I'm not seeing nothing except O-R-P-H, which has the best volume out here. O-R-P-H. Let's go, man. Vino, nice. Yeah, Vino is halted. Let's go look at it. I can, but I'm going to stay with O-R-P-H. Look at this. Look at this uh, stock right here. 1740s, uh, $17, 50 shares. What do I do on this? Yeah, 16 to 24, 50 shares. Let's go. ORPH looking strong, looking powerful. Is this the time it goes up and over? Could you keep adding into the 1650s right here? Definitely has support. Definitely has some resistance at 1730s. And then and now here it goes. So if it goes, here we go, 1770s, lots of people trying to take little bits of profit out here. Here it is, 1780, oh my gosh, with a margin account I buy right there as it's going up. Oh my gosh, N-O-V-N, I couldn't do it right there. What happened? It got right up to the 1823s, coming back down a little bit again, 1760s, 1750s. 1770s here we go i'm looking orph this is a good little pullback right here the 1780s adding into maybe the 1730s there 1730s has to hold for support clsd all the way up to six dollars now and still moving up 
Tokyo salutes you, dear monk. NWO, thank you for being here. We are killing it. I'm looking for the 1740s, maybe. That's where I want to get in. It is double topping up here. Yes, double topping on the five minute chart, double topping everywhere, but we'll see how this works out. O R P H. Oh my gosh, why didn't I take that? 1750. I'm just looking for a little scalp. C L S D all the way up, man. C L S D, look at that. Five fifty six dollars still going up there. A P O P all the way down. O R P H. Man, this one I missed out on. If it gets up over this 1830s, look at that. That's gonna be a quick little scalp up over there, over that double top up there. N N O X. I like it down here at the 1740s though. That's where I was trying to get in. I don't know if it's going to hold. Not too late. Yeah, I'm going to get it, man. I'm going to get it. Don't you worry. I'm going to get a hold of this thing very shortly. I'm looking for this to come down a little bit. I'm looking for it to hold the 1730s. You could get in right here and use a 50 cent stop, basically. Or you could even use the 1740, 1730. Here we go. All the way up, man. That 1750 was a good entry right there. It's just I couldn't take it. I should have grabbed that for sure. Should have grabbed that. NNOX is all the way up. NNOX. Here we go. Being very, very controlled right here. Let's see how high this goes. Has a little bit more room up here. Look at that. Get ORF now and hold until 20. I, I'm going to try to get it somewhere in here. I'm looking for it. I, I should. I wish I would have took it at 1750 right there. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 1730, I missed it. I missed that little scalp trade again. 1730s, 17, 1652 down there. Let's see what happens. And 1830 to 1730, they have a 1780 average. 1780 is going to have a lot of resistance on it. 1780. Here we go, right back to first big halt level. Look at this thing, man. ISUN is trying to pop up a little bit. So CLOV came all the way back up. CLSD, that one's all the way back down to 550s now. What a beautiful, got rejected right at $6 there. Perfect. 1740s. Man, I'm hesitating so much out here. ISUN, ISUN, high alert. ISUN is high, high alert here. Here we go, 1350. If this gets over the 1350, it could go up. Or C L O V hit it, yeah. O R P H. I don't know why I didn't get that one, man. O R P H. Look at that 1730 right there. Perfect little entry again. Some good entries on this stock. The I S U N is popping up there. It's looking better and better and better. 1340, 75. Bum bum bum. Here we go. Out 42.3. Good job, man. There's some good trades out there today. CLSD coming all the way back in. CLSD and ORPH is giving you some good scalps. You could scalp that all day long for 40 cents. Uh, ORPH keeps scalping it and scalping it and scalping it. ORPH there. Man, ISUN. I'm trying to see what I'm going to trade. ISUN having a little bit of trouble right here at the 1360. The VWAP reject right there. I'm going to wait till it gets up over that a little bit more. And then I'll see if I'm going to take a trade on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. NNDM is moving up, Mike Smith says. And JFU, look at that short trade. Boom, 280 all the way down. Beautiful, beautiful short trade right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There we go. KULR. Here's KULR is moving up a little bit here too. KULR. 
Yeah, KULR is starting to move up. I'm not really seeing nothing I like right now. Uh, ORPH says 1740, 1730 level. Yeah, ISUN had a hard, hard reject. I was looking for that to go up. Look at CLVS is getting ready to go over high a day right now. CLVS is uh, ORPH done or what? Hopefully it's not done yet. CLVAs. If you were going to get in, you're probably going to use about the 1630s as your risk right there. I may get in with a starter position here. 10, 10, 20. Sixteen eighty. Uh oh, sixteen eighty. Sixteen eighty eight. Come on, get up there, sixteen eighty. I'm getting out of that one. That one got me. That's a red trade right there. I was doing a starter position, but I didn't like how far it was coming down right there. That's a good add into position right there. I should have added one more time down here into that 1640s right here, but I didn't. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't do that. That's why I need to be more confident in my trade. CLVS, that's a good, good add into. ORPS solid entry 1650s here for another buck. Yeah, I like it too right there. CLVS all the way up. Look at this one. CLVS is going up. 1620 has room to the 1640s up there. ORPH came right back down. Man, this thing is dropping like a rock now. What the heck, man? I tried it. It's still coming down, still selling. NNOX is going up there. So let's see. NNOX. I knew it was a little bit risky on that. That's why I took less shares. NNOX. Let's see what this one's doing up here. This one's going up, up, and up right here. 3250. CLVS. Uh, ORPH. I don't know what's going to happen. $15. Maybe it has support there. $15. On ORPH, yeah, I like it there too. Sixteen oh eight. Let's see if this thing can get back up there. Sixteen oh eight. So I took half of my pro or I took a little profit at sixteen eighteens up there. I'm looking for this to go up a little bit more. If it comes down any more, I'm not gonna add into this one. I don't know if it's done. Still has good volume right here. I'm looking for it to get back up to the $17. If it could go to 17, that would be very nice. But I don't know if I'm gonna add into this one or not. This thing is just looking so weak. It has support here at 1545 though. Am I going to give back all my gains on this, trying to buy the dip down here, or am I just going to let it do what it wants here? 1596, 08. 608. Okay, here we go. Come on. Sixteen oh eight, and this one is—it's moving. It's moving pretty darn good, man. I like it. I like it. I like it. Sixteen oh eight. 
Let's go. Let's get this money. If they can get over the 1650s up there. Nope, coming back down. I'm supposed to stop out up here, but I'm giving it like 1599 right there to stop out. Looks like some sellers are starting to come in, or is it buyers here? 1608. Fifteen ninety, fifteen eighty-five, fifteen eighty-five. We'll see. Buy and hold. Have some faith. I am. I think I'm gonna add into this thing a little bit. N N O X. Look at that thing. That thing is moving up a little bit. Let's see what else is going on out here. A P O P is moving up a little bit. If it can get over the five forty-fours up there, O R P H. The 1625s. Let's see if this thing can get up to the $17. I want to take profit up towards $17. Is it going to make it or is it not? $34. Come on, go up a little bit higher up there, man. Took a little bit of profit. Looking for it to go a little higher here. Let's see if it can get up to the $17. 17 bucks. It could definitely make it. 34 Again, take a little bit more right there just to hold on to it. My stop is going to go to uh, $15.99 now. $15.99 is my hard, hard stop. Looking for this to go right up on over the $17 up there. There we go. Let's see if this thing can make it or not. See if it makes it. I'm looking for uh, stocks not traded during those times. ORPH waiting for FDA approval. What if it gets FDA approval? MTP all the way back down. Right there, MTP went all the way down to $3 and is bouncing off of the $3 there. AMC is still going up there, looking good, looking powerful. CLSD all the way back down to $6 down there. What is going to happen? Get going, get up there. We'll see if this thing goes or not. Here we go, 1626, get up there. We'll see if this thing can get moving up here. It could come and stop me out. That's gonna be fine too. I should put my stop down at 1567. Keep on adding into that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually add again into this. 1595. Is it just coming down here or what? Look at MTP all the way back up. CLVS still going up. CLNE, CLNE. This one you can short sell. CLNE, this is what I would wait for right there. $11. I would do a starter short sell. I'm going to do a starter short sell. 1101. 1101 starter short sell. 1101. 1101 starter short sell. 1101. I'm looking for 1091 as my first profit target. Beautiful, beautiful short sell right here. Beautiful A plus setup short sell. Uh, 1091, taking half of my profit at 1091. Oh, here it comes. A little bit higher, looking nice. Maybe you take a long trade. I'm I'm gonna take a short trade all the way through this one. Let's go. Let's see what happens on it. Is it gonna make it? O R P H ten ninety nine. Here we go. One one two. I'm adding into basically the eleven fifties here. And eleven oh one. I'm looking for this to go up. Eleven twenty one. I will add at eleven twenty one around that area. 
And thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, thank you guys for being here every single day. I really do appreciate you guys. Hands raised, days raised. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. I'm still in ORPH. I'm looking for that thing to keep going up right there. I don't know what's going to happen. It's If it comes down now, it's going to look a little bit more stretched out. CLNE, I'm looking to add into this thing. I think it comes down to 1080s down here. 1080s, 1091 is my first profit target though on it. 1091. 1091, come on down. Come on down. Not ORPH though. ORPH went right back up. Good money on this thing. $16 to $16.30. $16 to $16.30s. $16 to $16.30 right there. CLNE. I hopefully I get my ad on that thing. I'm looking for a good ad on CLNE. This is an AA plus setup. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, man. Oh, this feels so good. This feels so nice. Adding into a winner. Adding into a winner feels so nice, man. So, so nice. Look at this, man. Thank you guys for subscribing. Hands raised, days raised. I love it, man. 1121. This is feeling very comfortable. Very, very, very comfortable. Let me see what ORPH is doing. 1121. 1121 is what I'm looking to add into on on uh c o n e thanks john wick s n d l mine down look at this thing what the heck is happening out here on this thing 1608 and three shares boom uh, CLNE, I'm looking for that to come. 1121 is where I want to add one time. I, 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 maybe I'm going to add at 1115. We'll find out here. Look at this. This thing is still coming down. Still coming down. Still coming down, man. I should have stopped out a long time ago on this thing. <laughs> I should have stopped out. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I didn't stop out of this. Oh. Uh-oh. 1587. There we go. I stopped out of some of my shares because I wasn't going to add into this thing. So CLNE, I'm looking for a huge home run out of this. 1121 is going to be my add on this. 1121. W on CULR. Yeah, maybe a W on CULR. I don't know. JFU coming back for a double dipper. CULR. So it would have stopped you. You would have took profit. CLNE, I want to show you this A plus setup short trade. 90% of the time, this is going to work out. About 90%. This is clean, 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 clean setup right there. Monk, listen to Crosby, still Nash, almost cut my hair. Yeah, that's true. Uh, maybe I'll keep it long for a while. Me and Roland B, maybe we should grow our hair out, man. <laughs> Me and Roland B. I, I, yeah, ro holding rolling, I mean, holding rolling. Let's get this money. C L O V. This is an A plus setup. I love how it's holding up here because I want to get into this with full size. Here we go. Come on, you can make it. If you were going to take a long trade, maybe you take it at $11 here. 11, maybe up to the 1150s, but yes. Oh my gosh. I need to get out of this thing. O R P H. Uh, that's basically, uh, I don't know if that's break even or what on that trade right there. It's still coming down a little bit, but we'll see. Let me get back over to CLNE. Did I get my ad in there? No, I never got my ad. I'm still with a starter position of 75 shares. I'm going to switch my short account now. What am I going to do on my short account? 
I'm going to size in. I'm only going to do two ads now, or I may only do a one and done setup. I think I'm going to size in 5,000 shares into every, I mean, $5,000 into every trade. I, I, I'm not going to do a one, one, two. It's going to be a one and done setup on my short side. So I can either, it's going to be either a winner or it's not. And that's what I'm going to do. Like on this one, I would have entered at 1101 and I'm looking for 1091 with how many shares would I buy? It would be uh, 300 shares, 300 shares right there. I'm, I'm trying to see what else I would do. AMC still coming up, has resistance at 56, $57 though. Right there, it's grown. Trading one I shaved my head back in October. I got tired of eating it. It's grown out four inches now. Oh, hold rolling. You're ahead of me. I need to cut mine. I'm gonna cut it to about four inches and we can start over, man. <laughs> we can get this show on the road. But let's see how, this is a 90% trade if I get to add into it is the thing. Here we go, come on. It can make it. This is an A plus setup, A, A, A plus setup. Come on, let's get this money. Let's see. So ORPH is bouncing. If you were going to add into somewhere, ORPH $15 like Michael and Grecia was saying, right down there, man. ORPH is going to be fine. Hold on. Don't worry about it. It's probably going to be just fine right there. $15, that was a good add into spot. I just didn't, uh, you guys know, I get scared out here in the stock market. That's exactly what happened to me again. APOP coming back up here. What is going to happen with that one? CLNE, I'm looking for this to break out. Man, I, I'm not going to do an ad too early. I'm going to wait for my 1121. I just don't want to do it. 1121, I'm putting an order out there in the market to uh, short some more shares right here. Roland, I shaved my head for 30 years and my top beard, I'm always eating it. Yeah, I, I can't get my top beard going, man. <laughs> I don't have that capabilities. C-L-O-V, look at this thing. C-L-O-V is going up. A-M-C, GameStop. You guys cannot stop. C-L-O-V, GameStop. All the volume is everywhere, man. Look at this. Look at this. This is a trade. If it pulls back into the 5650s right here, 5670s, this could be a good, good entry right here for the move all the way up to $60. Oh my gosh, that's a little, uh, that's a little, little trade right there. 5650 all the way up to $60, possibly. AMC, GameStop. Look at this one. This is a trade two at 230. 230 right here, all the way up to the 250s. That's another, another trade. Look at ORPH. I hope you guys took that, man. Look at that. ORPH. Definitely good, good money. Look at that bounce from 15. Could get all the way back up into there. Looking nice, looking perfect. CLNE, I'm waiting for it. Is it getting to 1121? I'm adding into this thing. AMC and GameStop are at entry points right now. So just so you guys know, you're a little bit late now. But when I was talking about it, AMC was at an entry point and GameStop was at an entry point right there. 231 all the way up to 250 and then AMC all the way up to 60. Man, both of those, both of those stocks. Yeah, and CLOV, this one, this one's a little bit more sketchy. Look at the whippy wiki action on it. I'm a little bit worried about that one. And NOX, but AMC and GameStop, both of those good trades on there. AMC all the way up to 250 up there. That's what I see anyway. Maybe the 244s. But I, I'm waiting for CLNE. Is this going to give me my money? Oh, I got my ad. So now what do I have? 1101. I have uh, I have 11. Oh, I have 11. 11 average now with 150 shares. 11. 11. 11 average. My first profit target is 1101. 1101. 
It came down to 1103. Now, A plus setup. A, A, A plus setup. 1101. Man, I have 1111 average. I am happy. I am proud. I'm going to get this thing all the way back down to 1090s. I have one more ad left in me, and I will add 150 shares on my last ad. Double it up. T-I-R-X. What? T-I-R-X is pumping up too? Oh, yeah. T-I-R-X. This one. What is going Oh, this one can move. This one. Be careful with this one. This one. It is at resistance, kind of. But I think it can go higher. I think this can get up to $10. T-I-R-X to 10 C-L-N-E. Let's go. 1101 is my first profit target. 1101 come on down 1101 i have 75 shares to cover at 1101 right now come on down come on down the lna still showing zeros 1101 i'm looking for this i have 150 shares right now 150 looking and maybe i'm gonna add 150 more if it can get up i hope it can get up to the uh 1141 1151 that would be my last ad 1101 come on down a plus setup 90 percenter 1101 come on down come on man we'll see what happens APOP is getting back up there a little bit too. APOP is coming back up. Don't forget about this one. And ORPH all the way back over. If you guys added down into that, look how clean, look how beautiful that was. I just didn't trust myself on that. Man, roll. My wife tells people all the time how guys crush my beard. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, but cr yeah, beard crush, man. I like it. The C O N E. Oh yes, this is feeling even better now. Get up there. Get over the high a day. I hope it does. I'm a little bit, but look what it's doing right here. This is getting me a little bit nervous, believe it or not. But I'm still happy with this trade. It's still going according to my plan. But I just don't like this movement on it. It said the volume's getting so much on this. And this one may get me actually but 1141 is my next ad 1141 or 1151 and i'm probably i'm most likely going to get out for at least uh, a winner on this here comes 1121 come on here we go let's get it get up there get up there i hope it goes up a little bit more needs to get up 1141 i'm not going to put an order to uh to uh, short some more shares. I'm going to feel the top this time. But APOP coming up. I, I'm going to CLNE. I'm not forgetting about it. It's right there. I have 1109 average. Uh, when it gets up to the 1140s, I'm going to add. No big deal. I got it. ALF. Yeah, ALF, man. Look at that. Look at that trade I missed out on. We called it this morning right here. It didn't really go it came down a little bit further but boom all the way back up to seven dollars right there eventually just kind of like orph you got to have a little bit more confidence in there apop here we go apop 150 apop boom three four five here we go. Man, I can't believe I didn't take this for a trade right there. I needed to get in right there. DLNE still going a little bit higher. Whoa, look at the selling right there coming back down. Whoa, that was a lot, a lot of selling. By 40. By 40, 520s. Come on, let's get this money, man. CLOV is coming back up. AMC right down to the push. Looks like GameStop got rejected right there. I thought it was at least going up to the 244s. Man, look at this. Look at this. Has a lot of resistance right here. A lot of support, a lot of resistance by the 560s right there. But look at this trade right there. That 540 up to 560. 
clean, nice, and beautiful. Clean, nice, and beautiful. No risk, no reward. It still has volume. Man, I can't believe this. I meant to buy this right here. MTP's popping up too. Looking good, looking nice. I'm hesitating out there. I should have got this at 550 even, up to 560. Now it's coming back down again. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it going to make it this time? It has a lot of resistance at 560. That's why I'm probably not taking this right now. I should have been in right here. If it gets over the 560s now, maybe I'll take a trade. ORPH. Look at this. ORPH. Here we go again. And APOP. CLNE. Let's see. It's still going higher. I'm looking for this to go higher. It's looking so nice. This is going to be uh, this is going to be one of my biggest winners probably. One of my biggest biggest winners. APOP MTP. APOP. That some of us Arizona hair older than most of the group. Yeah, we're going to have uh, some of you guys don't know. We are starting a discord on Monday and uh, it's going to be there's going to be live chat running through it. I know a lot of you guys were talking about, man, if we could keep trading after I leave. So this discord's going to be just for that. And I'll try to stop by throughout the day if I can. Here we go, ORPH all the way back up. Can you believe ORPH? Why did I not let this one do it? Michael and Greasy has said $15 down there. Why didn't I do that, man? Let's get it, man. Let's get this money. Sad some of us, Arizona. Yeah, I know what you're saying, man. <laughs> uh, AMC all the way. Look at AMC. Look at it. I hope you guys got it. $56.50. 56.50, 50, 56.50, but uh, GameStop would have kind of uh, got you. You had to get in right there. I don't know if you would have took profit that soon. This one may have trapped you right there. AMC, 56.50 right there. Perfect, nice, and beautiful. CLNE, look at this. This could be the top right here. But I'm looking for the 1140s to add. I'm looking for the spike up. I hope it does it. This is looking so nice, so perfect. I think it's going to come back down and retest $10. But maybe I'm wrong. It could keep coming up. B-O-O-V, AMC, all the way up, man. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you all for being here, man. Don't forget about hitting the like button. Yes, could you guys please hit the like button? Let's see how many likes we got out here today. Hopefully we can get 100 likes today. I really would appreciate it. APOP still coming up here. I'm going to look real quick and see. Whoa, we have... We have we only have 69 likes, man. Can you guys please run over and hit the like? Oh, 74. We need 26 more likes. It will just take a real quick second. Right now we're looking at APOP. Thank you guys for hitting the like button. Thank you guys for hitting uh UTME is unhalted. Let's go look at that one. APOP. No, I'm I'm gonna stay with APOP right now. 93 likes, and you guys are almost there. Look at APOP, man. This one's looking nice, nice, and nice. Here we go. 103 likes. Let's dance. Sorry for yelling again and getting out of control. I'm trying to be cool, calm, and collected. Hands raised, stays raised. Thank you guys for hitting the like. You guys are still hitting it. Thank you guys for hitting the like button, man. It really does mean a lot. CLOV's going up. AMC all the way to $60, $64 up there. Thank you guys for standing up, man. I'm not gonna dance. I always embarrass myself out here, but I will dab. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Let's go. Impossible is just an opinion. Look at AMC. I hope you guys took this, man. That was a beautiful trade right there. Beautiful, beautiful trade.
Here we go, looking better. Here we go. I, I know I'm in full size. I'm going to let this one go up a little bit more. I'm waiting for the spike to go up. I'm very comfortable in this trade. I have an 11-11 average. I'm happy with this trade. But my next ad is going to be somewhere between 11.41 and 11.71 up there. APOP, look at these long wicks right here. It just keeps getting bought up, bought up, bought up right here. What is going to happen? CLOV is all the way up to CLOV is all the way up. Look at this. Look at this trade right here, actually. 1350. 1345, 1350. Oh, it already did a good move, 1340. This is looking pretty darn good, too. 1350 right here. We'll see what happens. CLNE is still going a little bit higher. I'm not even going to look at it because I'm waiting for that thing. CLNE is an A plus setup right there, but we'll see. Drop that beat on the monkey again. I will, man. Cute cartoon, but it's not getting the trading process done. I'm, I'm green on the day already. I'm happy with how I've traded today, but I'm looking for a good trade. I did miss out on APOP, AMC. There are a few trades I let go by. Even ALF I let go by, which is popping back up there. Look at this. I don't really, it's coming right up into the resistance. ORPH high alert. ORPH is high, high alert again. Here we go with this one. Monkey Army, you have a good day. I have to go get some work done till tomorrow. Yeah, ALF is popping up again. ALF is popping up. APOP came back down. CLNE, look at this. I did not add at 1141. I would have had a 11, uh, 27 average or 26 average, and I would be taking profit at 11.16. Oh, I didn't do it. I, I was going to wait. This was too much of a grinder, so I could not add into this. So my first profit target is still 10 or 11.01. 1101 is my first I never came down to 1101 yet. I'm in at 1111 looking for 1101 as my first profit target. If I do take my first profit target at 1101, I'm going to put my stop at break even. Stop at break even. So let's see. Man, I wish I would have got that. I should have added right there, believe it or not, but that was too risky to add right there. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. CLOV, look at this. Look at that, man. All the way up. 1360s right there. I, I didn't think it. What do you call high alert? First new high. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. Yeah, high alerts are either there's momentum or it's the first new high or somewhere it's a momentum based stock. When I say high alert, that's what I basically am meaning. It means the volume's there. Get over there, check it out. Maybe there's a trade for you. But remember to always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. APOP has halted, I guess. There was some money in it. But did you see that, that uh, risky action? They were trying to entice me into this thing. I could see them doing it. See that whippy action? They brought it down because I said that. Boom, all the way back up right there. Very, very risky. Very, very, very risky. ORPH, the reason I called that one high alert, it was getting over. I, I thought the pivot point was going to be right there by the 1625. Right here, 1630, 1640. If it would have went through that, I think I would have had a trade on that. That's why I called that. CLOV was high alert because there was a trade right here by the 1350. A lot of times I take this trade on low volume and this thing will end up keep coming down. So I didn't take that one. 15 coming back. That's why uh, it's called a uh, drop, not a pop. Yeah. Uh, they're both doing really well, and all my friends are in them except me. What do the stock market and my ex have in common? They're both doing really well, and all my trades, uh, all my friends are in them except me. What? 
John Wick, I hear you, man. I, I hear what you're saying. I had to say it twice. You guys know I'm kind of slow out here in the market. Let's get this money. So you guys know there's going to be a Discord coming very soon. On Monday, we'll have a Discord. Hopefully, you guys will want to be in there. I'm going to make, we're going to try to keep it where at least it's a little bit lively in there. I know some of you guys would really like to be in there. You don't have to talk. You can type, but there's going to be a voice channel if you guys want to voice chat too. I'm going to run that through the stream live on certain, uh, probably almost every day, actually. I don't know if I am, but we'll see. That's what I have planned out. Um, and I need to have some rules set so we keep it. If a lot of people aren't going to be uh, involved with it and using it, then it's just not worth it. But I think it w that's going to be a great place to start the monkey army. Yes, Discord. Every single Mac is going to be automatically going into it. But uh, everybody else you can uh, invite. It's a, If you want invited, just ask and it's going to be like that. And then we will get it. Yeah, Discord sounds good. It's going to be nice, man. It's going to be nice. Let's get it. I uh, should just do a live call in. Live call. Yeah, that's what it's, it's going to be. There's a voice thing in Discord. I can run the voice through here where everybody can hear it. And I can hear it too. And we'll talk. We'll see what's going on. You guys don't need to hear me rambling around all the time. C-L-O-V, here we go, all the way up, parabolic. Not very good, friends. That would be unique. Yeah, I don't think nobody else is doing that, actually. That I'll be probably one of the first ones that do something like that. I really believe it. I think I will. I don't know. Anyways, here's C-L-O-V at 1350 right here. John Wick, another answer to that joke could be... And another thing is... Uh, I, I'm, we're going to have a options. I really am going to take an options. I'm going to start options trading on my short account. I'm going to be selling puts and taking options on my short account. Uh, just so you guys know that. APOP is out of the halt. APOP is out of the halt. Look at that thing, man. All the way back down. Is Discord going to be a membership? Yes, uh, free membership, the good Chad. Free, free, free. But you just got, I, I'm not just going to open it and you can just go right in there. Anybody can go in there. It's going to have to be on, I'm going to, we're going to have a lot of moderators in there so we can keep track. I want it to be for the monkey army and I want to build it for the monkey army and I want it to be for all of us in there. Uh, I'm excited about the discard. Me too. Oh, don't say that. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of moderators. I was thinking about making all the Max a moderator, actually, possibly. We'll, we'll see how it goes out in there. Monk, add me in. Alan G, I will. You're going to have to ask in a little I because I'll need your username, I think, and stuff or whatever. I, I'll, I got you, Alan G. I got you, man. Free membership if you bring your own chicken. Yeah, you got to bring your own chicken, man. And what I'm talking about chicken, I'm talking about these chickens. <laughs> Let's go. So CLNE 1101 is my first profit target. 1101 i'm staying with this thing all the way down to the 1050s man <laughs> bye monk and all have a great day money all the best everyone just joking i would i would have to smoke on mine <laughs> i'm bringing a rooster man i i have a root we have a rooster it's ed big man he's down there we we have uh we have cc the egg slayer and we have the uh rooster also we're getting them we're getting them up and running soon too Maybe today even actually, you you'd have a big following then. What I yeah I I'm not real worried about the big following. I, I'm worried about the people that want to be here. I know you guys want to be here. That's all I care about is that because I'm I want to build a great great team out here for our future. I'm working for the future. I can't make no promises, but I'm doing the best I can each and every day. Oh, Ed McMahon. I used to love Johnny Carson. Yeah, maybe we'll name one Johnny too. We'll name we'll name a chicken Johnny. <laughs> we'll have Johnny. 
<laughs> Johnny man. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny man. Let, let's see. Is there anything moving out here? What are we looking at? The ISUN is popping up here a little bit right here. I don't really see nothing I like out here as of yet. Hopefully some other uh, trades show themselves. I'm still in CLNE looking for 1101. 1101, here we come. 1101, half of my shares are right there at 1101. 1101, where did it get down to? It got down to 1103 again. Come on, get down there. I'm going to be patient on this thing. I have to be patient. I love my trade. I love how it's working. I'm being patient. I'm not going to do nothing else. 1101. ISUN is starting to move up here. Look at this one. ISUN, JFU, MTP, no, APOP. ISUN. What's a great way to make a little money on the stock market? He replied, start with a lot of money. <laughs> that's exactly, that's it right there. That is the truth. Start with a lot of money and then you can make money in the stock market. ORPH, ORPH, man. ORPH, let's go. ORPH, a low, a higher low. And now if it gets up over the 1620s up here, this is looking good. This is looking powerful. This is looking nice. CLNE, I'm still looking for the 110. What did it come down to now? 1103. It cannot break below that. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait. I think it can come all the way back down to $10. But I will take half of my profit right there. There we go. ORPH. ORPH. ORPH, man. Here we go. ORPH. O-R-P-H. Come on, let's get this money. Let's get it. 1625, 1630. First five minute calendar make a new high was up over the 1585s. This thing still has a lot of room left. Let's go. O-R-P-H to seven. Let's go, man. Let's get this money all the way up. Nothing can stop it. D-L-N-E, 1101 is what I'm looking for. 1097. Uh, I took half of my profit on CLNE. Perfect, nice, and beautiful. Look at this thing all the way up. I'm a little bit worried about it here. What is going to happen? 1670s, 1680s, still going up, man. I should have took it right there over that 1620 right there, but I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Here we go, 1667, 1659. Oh my gosh, so many people, so many beginner traders see that VWAP break right there and they want to buy right there. 1679, let's get this money. Sixteen sixty three. The spread's a little bit big on this thing. We'll see what happens. Sixteen twenty four. Let's go. Come on, man. W on the one minute. O R P H. Yep, the W. The low, the higher low. That was a perfect trade right there. Looks like this thing may go to twenty five dollars again. Twenty five dollars again, man. Oh my gosh, look at that trade right there. That little buy the dip, sell the rip. I just couldn't take it. I just did not take that again. Look at that. Look at this thing, man. All the way up. All the way up. $17. Good job, Michael and Greasy. At $15 down there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Getting a little bit more risky, so I'm going to risk a little bit less right here. I'm getting in. 1707, here we go. Jump in, 1720, boom. 1720, what the heck, man? CLNE coming all the way. My stop goes to break even on it. Uh, 
1702 and it cannot get over that 1708 right there 1708 having a little bit difficult of a time I'm looking for this to go up right here if it doesn't it doesn't if it does it does 1690 1680 stepping down a little bit here 17 here we go reducing my risk a little bit because it's not going up right there 1680s come on get going get going Come on, man. Look at this. Is it going to make it or is it not? It needs to get up over that 1727. Looking like it's coming down a little bit here. I, I should be adding into my position, believe it or not, but I'm not. Sixteen eighties, a lot, a big five-minute pullback, man. This could be a huge five-minute pullback. Is it going to? Look at this. Come on, get up there. Sixteen ninety-five, seventeen needs to get over the seventeen thirteens up there. We'll find out if it's gonna make it. Yeah, just not moving. May come all the way back down now. May come all the way freaking back down. We'll see if it makes it right here. 1660. Is this going to be it? Here we go. 1680s. I, I'm looking at ORPH. Is it going to make it or not? APOP, CLNE probably might have stopped me back out there. Let's go. Look at this. They're piecing out of their trades. They're going to decide, are they going to jump back in or not? That's the question of the day. It could go to $20, but it may just come down to 1660s. Coming down. Somebody's filling the order again right there. Here we go. Bum, 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 coming down, down, and down, man. This thing is going. This thing is going to go. Is it going to get through the 1723s? That's what I'm looking for. 1723s there. Boom. Oh my gosh. Oh well. 1760s. Let's see. We'll see what happens right here. Is it going to come up or is it going to go down? 1680s. Looks like some buyers are coming in a little bit here. Let's see. If it doesn't get over the 1687 right here, it has a five minute pullback. It's kind of doing right now. If it holds above the 1640s here, I think it could possibly keep going up right here. Another minute, we'll see. The first five-minute calendar make a new high is going to be up over the 1711s. 1711s. Let's go. I see it going. Look at this. Look how they're stepping this thing down, man. This thing is going down, down, and down. That That is not retail traders. Retail traders don't trade like that, man. Retail traders, that is not what's happening. Unless it's a retail trader with some big, big money in there. Here they go. Is this the entry right here? Let's get it. Let's go. Sixteen sixties, sixteen seventies. 
here we go is it gonna make it up over that level the 17s come on you can make it you can make it 1680s Sixteen nineties needs to get up over that. Here we go. I have to reduce my risk because I did not add I did not add where I was supposed to, so I have to reduce my risk right there. That's okay. Here we go, all the way up over seventeen. Is it going to make it? We will find out here in a minute. This is the next five minute candle right there. That's where you could have took profit. I should have I should have got in 1660. I would have had a 1680 average and I would be taking profit at 1692. That's why I did that. Let's go, man. Patience pays off. Yeah, patience pays, man. Five minute pullback. We're looking for this to go over the 1711s and up into $18 here. This is the spot. If it's going to go anywhere, it's going to go right here. Here we go. If it's not, it's not. I will stop out below 1655, though. That's going to be my hard stop down there at 1655. It could still just come back down and then come back up, but I'm looking for a specific thing. I'm looking for it to go right up over this five minute candle here, and I'm looking for this five minute candle to be green. I'm not hanging on for a 15 minute pullback. I'm just holding on for a five minute pullback here. Here we go. Let's get it, man. AMC. I wish I would have added to that. 85% of the time, I'll get out for break even if I add into that trade. But no, no, no. Here we go, man. 1670s. Looking forward to go. All right, Apes. I'm out of here for a bit. I got to adult for a while. Y'all take care and have fun. Yes, we're killing it. We're doing it. We're getting this money. AMC all the way up. I hope you guys got that money there. Look how long this is consolidating. Usually on a run up like this, we get another additional run right there. But now it's just coming back down. Look at that. Just one little run. The lower high now. It's made a high. It's made a lower high. And now it just may come back down. Until it gets back up over this level right here. It's just not going to interest me. But it could do that today. It definitely has support at $16 there. $16. Oh. Here Sixteen twenty. Come on, let's go. I should have stopped out and re-entered right there, but that's okay too. I'm calling it for a while. Yeah, look at this, man. That did not make it. It should have went right there. That's where it should have went. I should have stopped out all my shares right there. I'm being a little bit uh, stubborn. I think it's going to make a higher low right here. See that trend line right here? It needs to hold the $16 and start coming back up. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's fine too. I gave back about five bucks today and that's going to be okay too. Whatever the case may be, that's what I'm giving it. Sixteen thirty. There we go. Okay, I'm still looking for this to come up a little bit here. Al AMC fifty eight ninety. Good job, man. There's some good trades. So this trade just didn't work out. I'm kind of just messing around with it now. I still see possibilities in ORPH to keep coming up right here but you could definitely see that's not retail traders whoever pumped that up right there that was them taking their profits all the way back down 
but that's all that was a p o p let's go let's see what happens in here mtp is popping back up this is going to be a red trade right here i'm gonna put it down right there here we go boom one two my third trade was red but the good thing is i ended up green on the day green on the day ma'am 16 20 20 20 trade uh meme stocks for big bank i like it michael and greasy michael and greasy you called it there man 15 dollars all the way back up to 17 dollars right there regardless wigs yeah i'm green on the day i'm happy with how i did today i'm looking for this to go all the way up into 18 dollars to 20 dollars up there but is it going to i don't know if it will if it happens to go up to 18 20 dollars i'm going to be very very happy i'll take my first profit up here by 1750s if it happens to get up there but this is coming right back up into the VWAP right here. And you guys know VWAP reject. That's basically what this was. CLNE. Let's see what happened to it. So it ended up stopping me out. I actually got two profit targets. It came down to 1090. Nope. I 1101 and then 1091 would have been my next profit target. So I got half of my profit. I got $7.50 out of that trade. And then I ended up stopping out for break even. And that was an okay trade. I really wish I could have added right there though. So 85% of the time that's going to work out there. But that is it. Crispy ATOS to lower your average. Yeah, I was trying to lower my average down into there. I, I On this trade, this is a whole different trade I'm in right now. I was trying to, I should have added down into the 1650s here, 1660s. It would have gave me a 1680 average and I would have got out for break even and then plus 10 cents, 20 cents. And then I would have stopped out break even and then re-entered when it came down on this low higher low higher low boom take off that's what i'm looking for here we go i son i s u n man i s u n and o r p h the only reason i'm trading o r p h like this is it's it's a lottery ticket trade basically i have no idea how high this can go i have no idea how low it can go i'm just looking for some money on it basically i'm guessing i'm guessing guessing and guessing on this but that's okay here we go all the way back up 16.50 we'll see if it can get over this line to 17 dollars yeah here we go man all the way up nothing can stop it Forty five gonna take a little bit at forty five right there. That's where my average was. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I was in at sixteen seventeen dollars. I added down to sixteen. I had about a sixteen fifty average, so I always reduce my risk by break even right there. And that's what I did. Twenty cents a profit on each five minute candle. Look at this. It's doing a fifteen minute pullback. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'll put it up over here. Fifteen minute pullback. Look what happened the last time it went up. Each one of these candles is fifteen minutes a time. I'm looking for a fifteen minute pullback for the push back up right here. And look at this. I want to draw this line for you so you guys can see it. Here we go. right there boom i'm looking for the break of this area up here on the 15 minute chart this is a little bit bigger uh 10 uh, btc what what the heck is happening here's jfu again look at this giving you money 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 up into the 324s right there apop uh orph orph not sure if they're waiting for after hour release the fda news if everyone is watching yes yes well the fda i guess that's some good news out there whatever's possibly going to happen on there let's see if there's anything else moving tsl tlsa 
is popping up here a little bit. I'm not really seeing anything worth trading. CLNE is going to give you another beautiful short trade. You could take this long now. If this thing gets over this 1120 and does a little pullback right here, it could be a long trade now. But anyways, I was just looking for all this action. I should have added right there, but I didn't. Didn't, didn't, and didn't. JFU, MTP. Not sure, yeah. Is FDA priced in? Yes. It's definitely priced in. Definitely, definitely. Let's go look at ORPH, $15. Let's see. <clears throat> $15 before all this stuff happened this thing was way down at $5 five five dollars man and now it's all the way up to $77 that was just all momentum I think it's worth about $15 probably maybe maybe it's not maybe it's worth more than that but maybe over time as a, companies always grow ORPH yeah People are buying hype, so be aware of the news. Yes, ORPH is all hype in my opinion. In my opinion also. Let, let's see if there's any other short sells out here we can find. A-G-E-N. P-A-C-B. Uh-oh, P-A-C-B. This is looking like an okay short sell here pretty quick on this one. Easy to borrow. A green day after green day with resistance up here by the $30. $30.30 .30 up there. Did you guys see that? $30.30. .30. But it's a grinder right now. So you would have to wait. You, I would be, if you're looking for a short trade, I would be stocking this stock right here. $30.32. 3032 3032 if I can get it right there up to 34 I don't think it will go that far man this one's setting up for an A plus setup short trade a little bit more of a push here if it can do one good push here here we go I'm going to start it right here. 29.43. I'm starting a short sell at 29.43. 29.43, man. ORPH. Yeah, I'm looking at this one. PACB is going up. ARLO. No. PACB. A plus setup. I'm getting in at 29.43. I'm looking for this to come all the way back down to $29. 29 29 43 i'm not going to take profit at plus 10 cents i'm going to let it go a little bit further since it's with a starter position here 25 shares i'm going to try to let this come down a little further here we go man what a perfect one 2943 perfect beautiful a couple good short trades out there clne it could give you a double dipper I think uh, up towards the 1120s. Here we go. TIRX is moving. CAPR moving around a little bit. ATOS. Let me look at this. Here's ATOS again popping up there. Look at this one. Low volume though. This would be a short sell, sell too, but I don't have shares on it. But I do have shares on this one. I'm still in at 29.43. Looking for it to come back down here. 29.43. I want to add into the 30.50s though. Maybe I should just do this one as a one and done setup. With a margin account that is not bound by the PDT rule. Of course if you got in at 29.43. You're going to take half of your profit there at 29.33. But and then let the rest ride down if you can. But with me, I'm going to look for a little bit more profit on some of these short trades. DIRX, man. DIRX. ISUN. CAPR. Look at this one. CAPR here. Good volume on this one. Just popped up here. Does have some support here at the 487s. I don't know what that one's going to do. ORPH coming down. ORPH, man.
Here we go. Here we go. What is the other one? P A C B. We'll see what happens with that. That's why it's a lottery ticket. Yes, lottery, lottery, lottery ticket. But it could be a good, good winner lottery ticket. So that's good. AMC, if you can afford to trade that. Here we go. I'm going to cover half of my shares for plus 20 cents. That's only going to be about a uh, $3 though. But that's okay. Because I only bought 25 shares. Here we go. Keep it coming down. I think it will come down to $29. 29 bucks, man. A little bit slower of a trade. Some some of these, now my stop goes to break even, which is $29.43. And but some of these slower trades are not too bad out there. Not 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 bad. Yep, yep, and yeah. PACB, definitely a good short trade. Just some good little bit of money on there. Might as well pick that little money up off the ground. Alpha, green to red. Yeah, Alpha is such a struggle, man. CLNE, I think it could possibly be another uh, short trade right here. But uh, I don't know. It could be a long, too. If you're going to take a short trade at 1120s, you're going to use a hard stop of 1143 this time. So if you tried it, you're not going to want it to get over high a day. Uh, but if you're looking for a different sort of short sell, you're looking for it to go up into the 1150s, do a starter position at 1150s, and add up into $12. But a long trade, I just, I, maybe it is a long trade. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it. APOP. T S L A T A C B. Let's see how low this is. Oh, stop me out right or no it did not yet. 2943 is my hard stop on this. 2943. And it only came up to 2941. Well, that case should things be, yeah, what the heck is happening out here? AMC, if you can trade this, let, let's go look at this. Maybe I will take a trade on this stock. This is going to be a good one. Here we go. I can, I'm going to get a couple shares of this. What the heck, man? 5930s. fifty nine fifty seven. 59.57 looking for it to get it has lots of resistance at $60 if it busts through that $60 resistance I think it's going to go up to like 64 65 $75 so I'm going to take it right here I'm going to try to hold this one at least up to $64 up there 59.57 I'm I'm using fifty nine dollars as my risk though. If it comes down to fifty nine, I'll probably stop out. I may add into this one actually. I may add add add. Yeah, AMC. This is about the only trade I see out here. Besides PACB, look at this. Did it stop me out yet? Nope. Very close though, but it's still still getting me. I think it's going to come down twenty nine dollars twenty eight eighties. AMC right up at the resistance here if it gets through this resistance look out it's right up into the resistance I'm counting on it breaking through the resistance if it doesn't break through the resistance it's just going to be a loser again here we go but I'm counting on it 59 59.12, 59. There goes ORPH. Here we go. ORPH is going up. ORPH is going up right now. Here we go. The 15 minute. Is it going to keep going up there? We'll find out. There we go. Took a little profit right here. Looking for it. To, I'm, I'm selling right into the resistance up there. So here we go, AMC, I'm looking for this one to go, come on, get up there, 
O-R-P-H. Let's do it, man. Let's do that. Let's see how high this thing can go. O-R-P-H. If you missed out on the trades, you could take a trade right here at 1650 for the push up right there. I'm going to use 1620 as my stop right there and see. 1620. AMC. I gotta I gotta watch this one because this one may bite me here. I'm just gonna stop out of this one if it doesn't get through this level. Needs to get through the $59, $60 up here. I'm using $59 as my stop there. Here we go, man. Let's get this money out there. ATOS is definitely a good one. ATOS, ATOS, man. This thing is going up, up, and up. I didn't really see it. It has space all the way up to 590s up there. All the way up to 590s. And 550 to 590 ATOS. ISUN is starting to move up a little bit also. So there's some good stocks out here moving around a little bit. But uh, JFU coming up $3 now. $3. This is a good entry too to me right here. I, I need to get back over to AMC here. This one's about to stop me out. Oh my gosh, another loser. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I took that. Right up into the resistance. I didn't feel like adding. I could have added down into the 5670s, but I'm just, is it going to really make it over that resistance up there? O-R-P-H. O-R-P-H. Let's go. So I made about 10 bucks today. No big deal. Sixteen eighties. Here we go. AMC. AMC is not a bad add into trade. I, I feel like you'll get out for break even worst case scenario, but I just didn't like it. Run, yeah, UXIN, what do you think? You won another hype train. You won, maybe, yeah, you won very d dangerous, So That one has a lot more easier money on the short side. U-O-N-E, some beautiful money on the short side, I bet. U-O-N-E, let's see it. U-O-O, -O, yeah, U-O-N-E all the way down. Look at that thing. I-S-U-N is popping up there. ISUN. Here we go with ISUN. AMC, if you're adding down into the 5870s, uh, that, uh, I think you'll at least you'll take half of your profit at plus one cent and then you'll move your stop accordingly. But oh man, I wish I would have done that with that one. JFU, ORPH. Let's see if this thing keeps going up. Looking for this to get through this level. If it gets through the 1730s, look out. Look, look out. This one's going to be a monster. This one's going to be a monster. I'm going to add back into this. Here we go, man. Run on Juneteenth. Think. We'll, we'll see what I'm going to do here. Here we go. This one is looking powerful, looking good. I want you guys to be aware of ISUN. ISUN out there. What is happening to my computer? There we go. JFU, I hope you guys took it at $3. That was an A plus setup right there. $3 all the way up into the 320s right there. Beautiful, nice, and perfect. CLNE, a double dip short sell at the uh, 1120s, all the way back down to the 1105s. Another good, good trade right there. AMC, a little bit more difficult because it is a hype stock, but it looked like it was going to go. Now it looks like it's just coming down. See that same old action like what was happening on ORPH? Just the ridiculous selling right there. So. Be careful, be be careful. But I still think if you added down into the 5870s from where I was in, the 5970s or whatever, you'll have probably a 5920 average or 5910, somewhere in that area. 
I don't know. That could be tough too. I S U N. Let's see what I uh, P A C B is doing. Seeing if there's another entry. Did it stop me out yet or not? What the heck, man? P A C B. P A C B. Boom. Look at this. Oh, it still went higher. It went higher, man. Right up into the perfect spot. This is the perfect, perfect spot right there. Short sell, short sell, short sell. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect re entry right there. Look at that thing. P A C B. And true. No. T I R X. George Floyd to promote. What? George Floyd. What the heck is happening out here? Thank you guys. If you guys could please, that's another thing about the Discord we're going to have. Uh, I, we're going to have a lot of moderators so we can just keep it open, keep it moving, keep it real out there. What the heck, man? George Floyd to promote. Or George Floyd. Oh, George Floyd to promote it. I see. Look at this PACB. Look what's happening out here. What is going on? PACB, I love this one to add up into the 3030s, even if you had to. I'm not sure. MOSY, let's go look at that one. See how that one's working out. I don't know about this one. Maybe it's a swing. It could be a swing trade. This one gets a little bit sketchy. MOSY, very, very sketchy, man. I just don't know. I don't, don't know. Maybe it's a swing trade up back up into eight dollars or something. This one's kind of a pumper at times, and uh, I don't know. I really don't know about that one, but we'll see. I have a huge, I have a huge notebook of MOSY though. I'll tell you that. Here we go. BQ. Here's barbecue. Nothing is happening. Where'd all the volume go? Everybody came. Everybody must be at work or school, man, right now, because nothing is happening. <laughs> bad volume on MOSY. Yes, bad, bad volume. Thank you guys for subscribing. We've been getting a lot of subscribers lately. Thank you guys for coming back around. Thank you guys for always being with me on this journey all the way up. CLVS, are we going to see that one? Here's CLVS. If I see a trade, I'm going to tell you. I don't really see one. CLVS is starting to move up here. Uh, 616. This one. ISUN also is another one. Don't forget about ISUN here. ISUN. Oh, look at this thing. ISUN. Sorry for yelling again. So CLVS, ISUN popping up here. ORPH, don't forget about this one. Here we go. Here it goes, man. ORPH, this is what we're looking for. This is it. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. Can it get up over this level? If it gets up over $17, look out. This thing may see $20. This thing may see 20. PRCH. So there you go with AMC. So if you have a 15 uh, AMC, so that was an add down into trade right there. And then you're getting your profit and you're looking for this to break over the high a day there. That's a good little trade. I just wasn't that confident in it right there. But that was a beautiful, beautiful trade. But I, I should have added down into the 1570s right there. There you go. There it goes. Oh, man. I can't believe I didn't do that. But definitely a good little trade there. I, I got red on it. But John Wick, the narrative is different this year. Thank you guys for subscribing. Gary Pitts, thank you for being here. Thank everybody for being here. C-L-V-S-O-R-P-H-I-S-U-N. And CLVS. CLVS is a good one. Look at that breakthrough right there. Beautiful, nice, and perfect, man. This is a pullback right here. Let, let me try to get my money back out of this. 6022. Boom. 6010. 
6010. I'm looking for this. CLVS is going up to CLVS is going up, up, and up. Sixty ten. I'm looking for this to go over sixty fifty before I take profit. There we go. Sixty forty. Sixty ten is my hard stop. Looking for this to go up to sixty two, sixty three dollars. Here we go. A good little scalp trade right there. Beautiful little scalp right there, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. AMC, beautiful entry right there. Waiting for the resistance to break and then buying as it's going up. Nice, nice, and nice. Yeah, AMC, that's what I got, man. AMC right there. AMC CLVS also is another one. If you're looking for a trade, that was a trade right here right around this area the 615 was a trade on that one too so frustrating foxtrot just believe when i tell you that the laptop has plenty of stuff so amc i should be green on this name this is a good one look at it going 61 has room all the way up to 64 dollars up there 60 64 pacb let's see what happens still going up a little bit still like it I did start at 29 something, 29.83 or something like that. I can't remember. We'll see. But AMC, let's keep this going. Look at it. Up, up, and up. If you guys are riding this, ride this to the top, man. I should still have a quarter shares left. I took my second profit a little bit too close, but that's okay. Look at that. There you go. $64. Thank you, Monk. Say it out loud. Let's kill it, man. Just believe when I tell you that the laptop has plenty of stuff on it to sink the ship. Have you guys seen? Do you guys know the Pillow Man? The Pillow Man says some crazy, crazy stuff. <laughs> the Pillow Man is the secret. The Pillow Man is the key to success. There you guys go. I hope you guys took this right here. Beautiful, beautiful trade. Beautiful, beautiful trade. Let's get back over to ORPH. Here we go. ORPH up over $17. Are we going to do this? Come on. Let's get this money. Oh, GameStop. Look at GameStop too. It, di it did come up, but it stopped me out right here. This is the trade again. It didn't work the first time. It stopped me out. Is it going to work this time up into the 250s up there? I sure hope so. If you have an account where you can trade over and over and over again, you're going to take this setup too. I mean, remember to trade your own plan and plan your own trade. I'm talking to myself as I'm talking. I'm just letting you know what I would do. And there it is again. There it is again. AMC all the way up to $64 possibly. 64 to 67 on this run is it gonna make it i don't know need to give yourself some wiggle yeah he he's got it all just like the media pillow guy that's who i'm talking about man all the ball the pillow man man i hear you man uh in my opinion it fluctuate 50 cents to a dollar look at this look at this go amc uh, i mean gamestop a beautiful trade amc all the way up to 65 dollars ride this up ride this as far as you can go 64 to 65 maybe 63 you can uh start looking for some good profits around 63 but look at it is there any more trades out there and you guys know gamestop just like i'm saying a good good entry up into the 250s is it going to get over the 233s? You're going to have to take profit plus a couple dollars. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But then maybe it's going to go get up to the 240s. Be careful with GameStop, though. This one could be a little bit of trouble. AMC, though. Here we go with this one. 61, 62. I still think it has another push. I, is it going to get over the 6170s? All the way up. Beautiful little trade from $60 all the way up to 61.50 so far 
And then above that, who knows? Monk, you have to listen to the new Tom McDonald. I'm going to Tom McDonald song Snowflake, man. Tom McDonald. Let's check it out. I'm going to check it out. We have we have uh, those things. Our, our house is like a smart house, kind of. But we have, uh, I don't know. I can talk to the machine, and I can say, play Tom McDonald Snowflake, and it will play it. Let, let me, I'm going to do it. McDonald. Uh, uh, McDonald. I hope you guys have a great Father's Day coming up, too. You'll never guess what I got for Father's Day. Uh, Holden Rowland, I don't know if you uh, ever seen the... Uh, do you guys know the Walt, uh, Walt Pendleton? Pendleton, there's like Pendleton blankets and stuff. Natives, uh, they love that stuff. I love that stuff. I'm native. <laughs> Anyways, but I love I love Pendleton. But uh, they got me they got me a wallet for Father's Day. A Pendleton wallet, man. Oh no, monk. Smart city is what they want. Yes, they want a smart city. I I don't like to have a smart house. I'm telling you that right now. But we do. I know they're listening. I know they see me. I know they hear me. Yeah. Alexa, play Snowflakes. Yeah, Alexa, play Snowflake. I, I do have one of those Alexas up here too, but it's not hooked up. I don't like to hook those things up, man. I think it's Alexa. Maybe it's Google. I don't know. One of the two. Look at AMC up to 64. John Wick, I'm going to stick to the trading conversations. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, ORPH is coming down. 620. Come on. Oh man. Come on down. It has lots of support right here though. AMC up to 64 to 70. Remember I was saying 75 to 90 dollars up there? Uh, ever since it came all the way down, that $50 was a great, great entry right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful entry, man. Beautiful. They have an experimental one in the works in Dubai, Smart City. Yes, check it out. I don't know if you guys ever uh, listen and all the rest he's put out this last year. I will. I'm definitely going to. I'm going to listen to Tom McDonald Snowflake. Snowflake. I forgot to write the snowflake part, but I got it. I, I put it down right there. Is there any other stocks we're seeing out here? Uh, ORPH. Oh, finally. Look at every time this comes down, it's getting bought back up. Support resist. Oh, my gosh. I got to move this. Look what we're seeing. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I, I I definitely see it. ORPH. Look at everybody and their mama sees it. Everybody and their mama sees it. That is the trade right down there. Everybody and their mama sees sixteen dollars as support and sixteen eighty five as the breakout. Look at this. It's tightening up. It's building a wedge. Everybody knows a wedge. It's building, what kind of wedge is it building? It's building a bullish triangle. A bullish triangle. You can take it up over the 1675s. Or you can try getting in early right here at the 1613s. 1675, yikes. It's building it. It's killing it. It's getting it. Everybody sees it. The entry up over 1675. 1675 is it going to be a good entry early entry right here if you wanted to try i don't know i'm gonna wait it could break down to the downside too but is it gonna get it his wood melt oh man o-r-p-h classic 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 Oh my gosh, I don't know. If you have a big enough account, you can take you can do your starter position right here at the 1620s and then boom, as I'm talking, remember I'm talking to myself. AMC is still coming up 64 to 70. I I think $66 is the first spot, 65 to 64 to 66 all the way up. Keep riding it, riding it and riding it. Uh, GameStop still coming up too. Look at this support. 
breaking out up into the 250s up there there we go look like it has support oh yep 613 it does man it definitely does look at it it is below the VWAP. If it gets up over the 660, there's going to be a lot of people see this thing. Look at it. Five-minute candle. The first five-minute candle to make a new high is going to be, oh, this candle right here. 1660 is going to be the first five-minute candle to make a new high in 15 seconds. 16. 1660 oh man am i gonna miss out on this is it gonna be a fake out breakout and just come back down on my head i don't know am i going to risk it for the biscuit or am i not am i not if you took amc i don't see why here we go 1660 1660 is it gonna make it up over that here we go come on 1660 the first five minute count to make a new high is up over 1660. I need to see it on the bid side or else you're gonna take it down there at 16. Here we go. It's definitely ready for a quick candle either direction. Yep, for sure, man. I'm I'm looking for this one. AMC, remember, up to 64, $64 possible. 63 maybe start taking profit up there, but here we go. Here we go. O R P H O R P H O R P H Can it do it? Can it make it? Come on, get up there. Looks like it's coming down. If it comes down and and we see it get if it comes down to the fifteen eighties and gets bought up there and then we start seeing lots of volume, it's for sure gonna be something. Look at AMC all the way up amc 63 i would start taking a little bit of profit right up in this area but just so you guys know orph here we go am i gonna risk it for the biscuit maybe i'll take a few shares here because i can just risk the 16 dollars 50. let's let's do it man 60 amc amc what a beautiful one gamestop what a beautiful one too i feel the fake hard drop and boom yeah me too i i'm kind of hoping it does the fake out to the downside and then starts coming up i'm gonna like it a whole lot better let's see what happens here here is the support right here right on the 1613 support if it gets under 16, look out. Yeah, I, I think it could do a washout to 1580 and then get bought back up. But below that, I would be careful. AMC all the way up. AMC. This stock can move so much a minute. It can move 70 cents a minute. So from 1620 to 1690, that's probably the first little move right there. Uh, hopefully you guys took GameStop also. Look at GameStop all the way up. Congratulations, everybody who took that for a trade and whoever took AMC for a trade. Beautiful, beautiful trades right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Can't beat it. Can't, can't beat it. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. Is this it? Here we go. What is going to happen? What is going to happen? And I owe oh, new high a day. Yep. AMC all the way up to 64. GameStop up to, uh oh. Fifteen eighties. Fifteen eighties. I'm just trying a position here. This one may bite me here too. 1580s ah uh, coming down breaking down man 1580s i'm gonna let it do its thing oh man i was looking for that thing to go too it looks like amc's coming down gamestop it did a fake out breakout up there i think it'll watch to that big one minute green from 30 minutes ago yeah look at it right there Look at this, boom. And I think this is the spot. It needs to do it in the next five minutes. 
Five, five minutes. Is it going to do it? 1590. Here we go. Sixteen oh two. I'm just reducing my risk a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna see if this is gonna come up. Yeah, I knew it. We'll, we'll see what happens. That's a breakdown right there. If it keeps coming down, so be it. I'm just gonna get out of this. Man, AMC though was a good, good, good one. JFU, look at this. Three dollars. It did come down to the two nineties that time. ORPH, I was looking for a huge move right there. Is it going to make it? I don't know. Wait for the red to green. That's exactly what I want to wait for. The open price is 1567. It came right down to the open price and held the support right there. 1567 is the open price right here. Let me put that in a line too. So you guys can see that 1567 edit properties I put this in a little white line usually boom boom okay <clears throat> here we go SPX GDT's in the house you jinx again on the OR I know why did I jinx that thing this thing should have went up right there I, I shouldn't have talked about it I should have kept that on the down low and let this thing go. I'm going to see. It's trying to hold the support right here. Fifteen seventy. Trying to get in on this thing. Here we go. Man. Uh, so anyways. We'll see what happens here. Is it going to go up. Or is it going to go down here. Man. It's, it's trying to hold that support right there and that's what I'm looking to is it gonna hold the support CLVS the 615s right there I don't know if you guys got it again at 615 up to the 622s and and let's see what PACB is doing look at this look at that short all the way back down beautiful beautiful short you only had one entry again though but O R P H. Let's get this one. Sixteen O six. Here we go. This one's very sketchy, man. Very, very sketchy. Come on, get back up there. Here we go. Is it gonna make it? Here we go. JFU is setting up. Yeah, JFU is kind of setting up a little bit too. I, I agree with that one. Maybe on the short side though, it is getting a little bit wore out. I don't know. I'm not really looking at it. Maybe it is a long trade. Oh yeah, you're right. It is kind of setting up here. I just don't know how high. I think JFU could only get to 324. So I don't think it's getting much higher than that. So I don't really see a trade for myself on it, but... Anyways, it does have room up in there, 3 to 324, and then 324 short up there. Here we go. Here this thing goes, man. Let's get this money and see. Is it going to make it? Rip through 16 for a bug. Yep, 1560 right there. The open price was 1567, and now it's all the way back up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is the kind of trade that can stop a lot of beginner traders out if you haven't seen it before. But let's see how this is going to go. So it looks like GameStop and AMC are finally coming back down a little bit. ORPH still trying to go. MTP, look at that short sell. You should, if you found shares to short, I, I was thinking it was going to go a little bit higher first, but... For sure had some money. Monk, I walked you through that and John Wick backed it up at 1560 drop for the fake out boom. Yes, the fake out right there. That's exactly exactly what happened. Thank you guys for walking through that one. Beautiful, beautiful setup right there. 
That's what I was talking about. When I said sometimes it does a fake out, that's exactly what I was saying also. They do this all the time. All, all the time. If you can recognize the little traps and take advantage of those traps, then you're going to be coming a long, long way in the stock market. Plus, there's some good valid setups. Sometimes just the valid setups aren't the best setups. Boom, boom, boom. 1601 16.49 I want to take a little bit of profit up there CLVS good job guys taking these four trades here let's see what happens let's get this money APOP all the way down JFU all the way down MTP all the way down Look at these stocks, man. Look at CLNE all the way down. I hope you guys took that double dip trade right here. Right at the, I would have took it right in this area. Or maybe even right there. But, and using the high a day. Now it's all the way back down. What a beautiful short. Beautiful, beautiful short. Same thing with PACB. Look at this. A beautiful short sell all the way back down. Good, good trades out there. ELUG. Oh man, this is looking like a pretty good short sell too. Underneath this 30, if you could uh, do a short sell right here and add up into the $30, if it gets over the 30 tens, you're probably going to have to stop out though. This is kind of a death line short. You have to be careful on this one, but it may give you a little bit of money. CLNE. Uh, o P. Where where is uh? I don't really see nothing else out there. Look at T A C O Taco Tuesday. You could still be riding this thing from Taco Tuesday. I cannot believe that one. All the way up, all the way down. That one is off of my chart now. There we go. O R P H. We're going to see. It's just messing out. Now 16 needs to hold. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. 16 to hold right there. Good look. If it can get over that, first five-minute calendar make a new high is up over 1620. Over 1620 and then up into that $17 up there. What is going to happen? I'm looking for some momentum. If I see some momentum, I'm going to size in a little bit deeper. Right now, I'm just taking these... Uh, Quick little weird trades out here. I made, I think I made $11 today. I was up about $18 at one point. What, what the heck happened to SPI? Oh, I got to get out of SP. I don't know. Should I get out of SPI? Let's go look at my short account real quick. Should I get out of this thing? SPI. I'm down a dollar sixty-two on SPI. Yeah, I'm just gonna flatten out of this one. I could stay in it. This was an accident trade. I was only looking to scalp it uh, yesterday in pre-market, but I did it on my short account here. So I'm down a dollar sixty-two on that. Now, FDA, FDA news is taking too long. What is going to happen? Maybe they're going to release it very shortly. They have to release the news before anybody has a valid reason for it to start making some crazy action. I, I'm flattening. I'm getting out of this. Well, there we go. 18 cents, but I lost like a dollar sixty-two on that. But I had made two dollars on it. But anyways, this is my short account. I have a current account balance on this account, and uh, two thousand five hundred eighteen dollars and thirty five cents. So I'm actually uh, up a little bit more on this. There we go. Okay, back to my regular account now. I have zero day trades on there until next week. So CLVS, ORPH coming down again. CLSD is starting to move up a little bit here. This one's not looking too bad. CLSD. 
five oh five dollars here i think five dollars is kind of the top i would probably do a vwap reject short sell on this thing and then my daughter is laughing about my eleven dollar taking the whole morning eleven bucks yeah eleven dollars that's my eleven dollars too i've had so many green days in a row i don't even know how much i've been green every day this week i've only made about seventy dollars this week i think but that's okay i'm getting where i need to be i'm making exactly the same amount as a big trader would make i'm just trading with smaller share size so all the scalpers out there, I'm I'm right with them. I'm right on top of the uh, program here. Look at look at all these trades out here. What with a margin account, I would be up. I don't even know how much I would be up today with AMC, GameStop, all these other short sales. I would probably be up about thirty, forty thousand today, maybe fifteen actually, but I don't know easily 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 so let's see what happens to clvs is it going to get back up over this i think this has room up to ten dollars believe it or not scottis upholds obamacare holds up obamacare well biden's in office now i'm sure it's gonna stay where it's at but let's see what happens amc amc right back down to the support the 60 dollars support you could oh man that would have been an okay starter at 60 50 adding down into 59 50 59 50 monkey is using the turtle trader technique that's why good morning monk what's going on pa neutral 1980 it's great to see you man it's great to have you around this joint man you guys know we're starting a discord soon hopefully you guys will be involved i want you guys to be involved i want you guys to talk we had a great discord a long time ago i kind of messed it up because i'm not perfect i'm not the perfect i'm very humbled by this experience i make many many mistakes out here in the stock market i just want you guys all to know i'm doing the best i can each and every day and that's how i move that's how i get down that's how i stand up and that's what I do out here every single day. Dunwick, I used to be like it. Yeah, first time viewer. Definitely coming back. Thank you, the JTK. We had some great trades out there. I see an okay trade coming up on a CLVS. If it can get kind of up over this, I think this is a good kind of swing trade. But you would have wanted to be in at least down by $6. I, I guess it's pretty close to 6 but I don't know heck yeah man the jtk it's always good to see you man jtk let's get this money i gotta get out of here very soon in a little bit i've been staying a little bit longer lumber prices cost so much nowadays it's just incredible incredible i do have some stuff to do though i better get it done today look at snpx snpx is moving this one's getting some good volume Look at this, SNPX. First time here, loving it so far. I try, sometimes I get out of breath and I talk too much and do all this other kind of stuff. But you guys know I'm very humbled. I'm kicking it, kicking the tires for a while, looking for some good trades out there. ORPH is looking better and better and better. ORPH. There's also an SNPX. I did have this on watch today. I thought that, oh my gosh, it, can you short sell this thing? This is right at the short sell spot. This was a beautiful little trade though earlier. Look at this. And that was a beautiful long trade earlier. Now it's looking like a short trade to me though, but oh my gosh. ORPH, let's get back over here. Here we go. ORPH, here we go, man. Did the news come out? What's happening? Let's get this money. ORPH. Let's do it. 
Lumber coming down the I sure hope so the good Chad. Thank you guys for subscribing JTK. Thank you uh, Taga. We are doing it every single day. We're gonna be here all the way up to one million dollars. We started this journey like 366 days ago and uh, the account now sits at my account now sits at over ten thousand dollars and we are growing this all the way up. We're not gonna stop until one million dollars. One million dollars, ma'am. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's get this money. 1620s. It does have some support here at 1620s, 1615s. This is an okay entry right here to anticipate the break. And this one could lock up in a halt here pretty soon. I don't know if it's going to or not. It is moving up though. 1620, not a bad entry. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, slowly. Uh, Alto and Gorshas uh, dissented at Paul DeBald 1. Roberts needs to change parties far from conservative. <laughs> or from, oh man, look at this. This thing is so freaking choppy, man. I cannot believe how ORPH is. There goes CLVS, actually. CLVS. Is this one going to make it? SNPX. Oh, I got to get out of here, I believe. SNPX. I'm sorry, guys. On Monday, we will have a Discord. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, I got to get out of here, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. I got to get out of here. Watch ORPH. I think this one's probably going to the moon, going parabolic. It's right around this area right here. I don't know what's going to happen, but it looks like if it can get up over the $17, $18, it could go to $20 today. This is kind of a key level in this levels right here. All right. Have a great day. How much did I make today? Let me tell you guys how much I made real quick. Uh, 749, 37, 47, 40. 47 okay here we go i'm gonna tell you right now how much i made uh boom green day plus 11 bucks 11 bucks green today, man. I made $11 today in the stock market. I know it's not a whole lot of money. CLVS has an entry on it. CLVS is looking good right now to me. So anyways, have a great day, guys. As Paul DeBald says, have a great day. On Monday, we'll have another Discord. Long take 10 shares and hold it. I should, man. But I got to get out of here. I have some stuff to do. CLVS is looking good. All right, have a great day. Oh yeah, power hour. I'm coming back for power hour today. Yes, I'll be back for power. Five, four, three,